<laughs> Come on, buddy. Tonight on Behind the Podcast, we go behind the scenes of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast and the fallout stemming from their 100th episode. We all put a lot of work into our 100th episode. Suffice to say, we were exhausted afterwards, and that exhaustion affected each of us differently. It broke DJ. Like, seriously, broke the guy. To describe what happened to DJ. Um, he went out of his fucking mind. She said I was out of my fucking mind. That, I mean, that's just not true. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I think our friend is in the middle of a nervous breakdown. While DJ recovered at St. Sophia's Treatment Center, the rest of the members of the Blissett Reviews podcast tried to pass the time in their own way. Justin made several appearances on other podcasts. Hello everyone, I'm Movie Revolt Dan, and this is the Comic Concierge Podcast. Our special guest today is Justin Polizzi of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. Hey Justin, how's it going? Alright assholes, let me fucking tell you the fucking deal with the motherfucking Batman. Whoa Justin, we don't swear on this show man. The fuck? Meanwhile, Matthew made the bold move of leaving the Jewish faith in order to join the Church of Scientology. I must say, Mr. Stewart, your thetan levels are extremely high. Yeah, 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 that's great, that's great. Uh, but when when do I get to meet Tom Cruise? I, I just wanted to meet Tom Cruise. Oh, I'm sorry, Minister Cruise is not here today. Travolta? No. How about Will Smith? That's still just a rumor. Damn it. I do believe Giovanni Rabisi's upstairs. I'm sure he'll be happy to speak with you. Uh, Mr. Stewart? I'm still deciding. The tangents. This is why. This is why James Bond could never get herpes. The tirades. Stop talking about Popeye the movie, DJ. I fucking hate Popeye the movie. Fuck. The criminal activities. You know what they say about what happens in Vegas. No, no. Julie killed that guy. And buried him. We're still not sure why. Hmm. All that and more on this episode of Behind the Podcast. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They talk their way out of speeding tickets by showing a little skin. I'm your announcer Julie, and I swear to God, does anyone know what the fuck is going on in Westworld? Oh, not the show. I'm talking about the general state of Kanye. Here are your hosts. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Hi kids, the good news is you said no to drugs. The bad news is you said yes to something even more addictive and bad for your health. The Simplistic Reviews Podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine, and I'm joined by a couple of fellows who think Cardi B is a vitamin supplement for your heart. Chief Justice, Matthew Stewart. Chief of Medicine, Justin Polizzi, and the comic book concierge himself from Cinema Geeks and the GeekCast Radio Network, Dan, the Giants fan Clark. How's everybody going today? We were supposed to not Gi- do drugs? That was Gi- not. Gi- no, no. We, I, it wasn't, it the wasn't kids, in the contract. The kids can't do drugs. We can yeah. do drugs all the time. Okay. Drugs all the day. You're a Giants fan, Dan? Unfortunately. Oh. Why do you think Dan I need the, the drugs? Dan's fan? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's where it started. That's the gateway. Right to drugs. Yeah. Watching, Giants. watching Giants football is a gateway yeah. for like marijuana. I must do heroin now. Just, just ask Odell Buckham Jr., apparently. So. Oh, God, yeah. He's dope. He's, he's literally dope. The Giants are now scheduled <laughs> he's one. He's doing it. Illegal! <laughs> Uh, now, Dan, we we got a lot of stuff to talk about. We got Star Wars problems. We got DC problems. But before we get started, I wanted to discuss the I most important issue no of all. No one has all. a problem. DJ we have a problem. Okay, we're talking about it. IHOP oh. is changing its name to IHOB. Your thoughts? Go. 
Uh, I think it's a good move. I mean, no, you know. Greg, get out. Get, get, yeah. Cut his feet. Cut his feet right now. Cut, his, cut him off. Pancakes cut him off. suck. What the hell? I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on team Dan. Pancakes blow. I mean, it's more what breakfast. What the hell is wrong with you people? I hop is I hop. We don't call it I hop. It's not like a fucking. What? what? No, no, no. I hop. I just want to see them spend all this money to change the sign and then realize it doesn't work and have to do it again and then change it back. <laughs> it's just, just like a, new code. for anarchy. You, you are you know, the, you know what the B is, is standing for? I'm going with uh, breakfast, right? It's got to be breakfast. It has to be. Or. Uh-huh. or well, their tweet was uh, um, maybe. <laughs> in our house of butts. <laughs> We've been cooking uh, pancakes, and now we're flipping something else on the grill. What the fuck is that mean? That's like a threat. Yeah, <laughs> flipping something else on the grill. <laughs> flipping you off, motherfucker. Could be burgers. They could be getting into. The yeah, it could be international room. house of burgers. Are you eating a burger from IHOP? Yeah. I have. That sounds. That well, sounds from like IHOP, I have. Oh. So. I think oh, I think that's sorry. a part to one of my IKEA furniture, if I'm not mistaken. So, <laughs> I, yeah, it's, I, it's, it's actually the name of a chair that you buy. Yeah. You I, buy the I, IKEA jokes, folks. We can't <laughs> only here at this <laughs> only here at this blizzard. <laughs> Dan's already bringing up the best in the show. Yeah, yes, thanks, Dan. That's what we're talking. <laughs> IKEA jokes. <laughs> I get all my material from the early '90s uh, stand-up comedians. So, <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Mason. Here, let's get some Jackie Mason jokes in here. <laughs> Jackie Mason and Chris Elliott. Why not? Throw Chris Elliott in there. Oh, Chris. What happened to Chris Elliott? He was like... He's doing good. It, yeah. yeah. He's I, talk, I talked fun. to him recently. He still talked to him. He sees him at the local... Uh, <laughs> he sees him at Ralph's in the uh, meat section. At the local IHOP. Yeah. <laughs> the IHOP. He's ordering a burger. <laughs> International House yeah. of it, Bodulism. Uh, <laughs> International House of Bad Jokes. He's a, uh, he's a manager. <laughs> he's a... <laughs> Over my local alcohol. Gotta sing that song. Do you remember that show, the Chris uh, Elliott show with the fucking Get a Life? Um, yeah, Get a Life. Yeah, I don't know why I can remember it. Probably because Get a Life, Matt. <laughs> Get a Life, guys. <laughs> I just think he was great. He was great in um, uh, Jerk Off in Your Hair movie. What's it called? Uh, I, jerk Off. Something about <laughs> Mary. There you go. Something about Mary. Yeah. I think I prefer. I knew that jerk too quickly. Off didn't I? That was too quick. It was too hey, quick. can I get two tickets for Jerk Off in Your Hair movie? <laughs> It's like you mean there's something about Mary. It's like no, the jerk. Oh, it's like, oh, I'm in the wrong theater. Fuck. It's not the, it's I thought not it was the porn in New York theater. The... <laughs> I, I want the literal the jerk off in your hair movie. Where Fucking can I find Giuliani. that? Movie? God damn it! He ruins Where's everything. Porn? <laughs> jerk off in your hair movies used to be a dime a dozen, and the Farley brothers and uh, Giuliani comes around and ruins it for everyone. <laughs> the Farley brothers and Giuliani comes around. Well, I bet you the Farley brothers love that they've been looped in with that motherfucker. <laughs> well, I mean, we're all going to be looped in at some point. That's true. <laughs> we're all doomed. You're all doomed. 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 <laughs> so, Dan, right before we uh, get into the uh, the nitty gritty of the show, tell everybody about the uh, combo concierge, cinema geeks, geek cast radio, all that stuff you're, you're, you're hawking. The Giants. <laughs> sure, you're, you're, sure. You know. Yeah. How the Giants do this year? <laughs> Key cast, yeah, Giants. Well, it was. I forgot football existed this year. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we got da- we got Daniel uh, so Yeah, so Key Cast Radio. We do. Yeah, we got we do a little bit of everything there. Uh, we actually just celebrated nine years of being around uh, because nine years. Yeah, Damn. Uh, Ooh, I have not wow. been there. Yeah, I've, I started around 2010, so I've only been there. You know, eight-ish. Oh, Piker. Only Ooh. like eight years. I, I jumped on late <laughs> to the bandwagon. But yeah, I, I, I host the Comic Con Series podcast, which is a comic-based podcast that I've had actually DJ and Matt have both, and I need to get Justin on it sometime. And then Cinema Geeks, which is a movie-based podcast where we do some reviews and games and things of that nature. Uh, but you know, we have pretty much cover everything. We actually, we're also trying to do more videos on YouTube now because that's where all the kids are at. So uh <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're, we're trying to appeal to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> we were ta- I talked to them at the beginning of the show. So, we're get- kids, <laughs> YouTube. Kids, do drugs <laughs> and watch the Comic Concierge and Cinema Geeks on YouTube. Do that. That's <laughs> it's on the poster. Do yeah. the poster. at the same time. That's the tagline <laughs> in the in the iTunes. <laughs> Not a lot of people are going with the pro drugs route, but I mean, Cinema Geeks in the Geekcast Radio Network. They're, they're, they're ahead really, of the curve. Really ahead of the curve there. <laughs> Just give it time. Give it time. It's good. When it's you- gonna catch. Oh, trust me, it will catch on. <laughs> it's gonna catch on. <laughs> it's addictive, for real. <laughs> We're giving you gold here. Uh, gold, Jerry. Gold. Um, Let's get a little uh, psychological with some uh, words. Why? Well, because we're crazy. Word association. The first word that pops in my head when describing this segment is stupid. Well, that's not fair. Stupid is the word that pops in my head when describing pretty much everything on this show. It's word association. <laughs> word association. This is where I give a uh, uh, subject to cool. the three guys here, and then uh, they give a word and then expound on the word and 
terms of movie news or television news or news in general. Here we go. First subject. There is a Willy Wonka remake, Dan, coming with either Ryan Gosling, Ezra Miller, or Donald Glover. <clears throat> Unnecessary. On every, there we go. There every we. shape. I mean, like, didn't we learn last time that this isn't a good idea? I mean, at least it's not Johnny Depp and Tim Burton, but... You didn't like Michael Jackson Wonka? You didn't like that? <laughs> no. No, I did not. Uh, no one else did either. <laughs> nope. I saw that in IMAX. It, at, at like IMAX? Big, not like the fake, you know, I'm at the AMC IMAX. I yeah, saw it in like actual... The, the, the Science Theater. The Science, science Museum. Theater in Florida. Huge football. And it was... <laughs> was, it, was it in 3D as well? Just That's yeah. embarrassing. Yeah, I was, I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. <laughs> you, but walked, yeah, it, I, you walked out in shame? Well, you know, I was kind of like... This, uh, one, I think I, this is before I really gave a crap about, you know, looking up stuff. But I was like, maybe Gene Wilder will show up or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Gene Wilder was like, fuck you, sir. <laughs> Save this movie, Good Gene day, Wilder. Sir. <laughs> Save this movie. No. <laughs> no. I'm not saving it. All right. <clears throat> Matthew. Oh, yeah, what's up? A new Halloween trailer drop that takes mm. place after part one, erasing the other films, including our award-winning commentary for Halloween 3. Man. Man. Is that your word? <laughs> your man is No, it's not man. man. Uh, it, could, it could be. Um, when you put it into the terms that they're erasing, well, okay. I think it's... You're, it, you're it's, hanging on to Busta Rhymes that was thrown out? <laughs> well, I mean... Um, let's see. How about the word choice? Choice. I'm going to throw choice out there, but it's only because of an article that I was reading about this whole uh, concept of choosing your own adventure when it comes to Halloween at this point now. Are you going to take one and two and then add this to two? Or There's, there's too many fucking versions of Halloween. I'm confused. I know. I'm confused, too. <laughs> Already. I'm confused. It's, it's very simple. Take number one. All right. And then that's it. And then that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you're done. That's how it should be. Number good. one. Probably with every that. other movie on your list, DJ. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I like the fact that they're just uh, taking part one and just saying, okay, part one, and Michael got locked up. But it doesn't make any sense for the end of part one, though. Yeah, because he, like, they, they, he they disappears. He just did they, did they like, arrest uh, him immediately they, they afterwards? They, him, they, they arrested him. him. It's like, oh, when we shot they him. found him at an IHOP. They found yeah. him at an IHOP. <laughs> he a burger. What would you Michael? like, Mr. Shatner? <laughs> a little product placement. <laughs> Mr. Shatner looking really pasty. I want a Rudy Tootie, fresh and fruity. See, back back in that day, it was called IHOP. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. So he, he, went, he went to an IHOP now with five bullet wounds. Come back. Oh boy! I, I think it looks good. I think the movie. Looks I think it will be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, it's gonna be fine. I mean, see, well, I, I just I, I just saw the first one, the Halloween for the first time, like two oh years ago. So I have no. Oh my God. Oh, really? Yeah, I was late to the party, very much so. What was the What was the format that you watched that on? Uh, I don't even know. We got a caller. We got a caller, ladies. We got a caller. Caller? No, we don't. Got a caller. Who's calling? It's supposed to be his podcast. Yes, this is a podcast, right? What are those? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I had to get on the show somehow. <laughs> this what the hell is this? this Mike so, Son of the Milan? So, so at this point, this is like my 2012 podcast in nine years. Is this Saddam Hussein? Is, is, is it Saddam? Saddam? If, that was, <laughs> Saddam? If, if that was the case, I'd be dead. Yes, That's this is TFG and Mike from the Geekcast Radio Network. Oh, Whoa! They, they, look got at this. Dan, they got they got a tracker on you. They know where you are uh, at all times. Yeah. See again. <laughs> You're about to be arrested, <laughs> sir. Or... <laughs> no, I'm not wow. going to get arrested. <laughs> I I am on vacation. Yay! You're on vacation. You're you're on vacation. Up. You're on this podcast for That's shame, amazing. Mike. What are you doing? That's amazing. Well, so we're, we're, we're talking about to the... go home. Okay, we're, we're talking about Halloween and uh, and, and we're things. squatting at your house. We're right? really in your house right now, doing this whole. <laughs> Just let us know when you're on the way, so we can if, uh, clean up after. <laughs> if you were in my house right now, the auto guns would be on all of you, and you'd all have shots to the leg. No, mm, I'm like uh, Robert Blake in that uh, Lost Highway movie. I'm, I'm in your house right now. Call me. <laughs> well, we're technically yeah. all dead inside. So. <laughs> we are. We can survive shots to the leg. <laughs> How about arrows to the knee? 
No, no, oh, can't, can't oh, only in either. the Skyrim. No, I don't watch Arrow anymore. <laughs> we all quit Arrow. We're all done with it. <laughs> and Flash. It's, and Flash. It's better than Gotham. And, uh... <laughs> well, at least that's coming to an end. Supergirl is. All good uh, things was coming stuff. to an end. Yeah. So we're Super talking Girl about we're like... talking about Hall the Halloween trailer. Did you see the Halloween trailer? Mm, no, I, I saw the first three movies, and then after that, I was done. Hmm. Uh, we're, we're also talking yeah. about IHOP. Uh, what do you think yeah. about IHOP turning What's into IHOP? What's your opinion the of, the new, of the new branding? <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean they're going to bake bunny pancakes now? Yep, that's exactly <laughs> what the pancakes stands for. Pancakes that are rabbits? <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Funny. <laughs> you asked for it, you're going to get it now. No one asked for IHOP to do anything anymore. See, he's the only one on my side. I, I, you call back anytime. <laughs> 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 Will do. Just wanted to say hi is all. Not really, you know, calling in for the actual show, but I figured I saw the thing on Facebook, so, yeah, what the hell. Hey, all right, uh, by it's the working. way, uh, our mind control the, devices are working on people. You're the first person's house we've broken into who has a water bed, so that's uh, just props. <laughs> yes. Man, props. Uh, we don't have a water bed. Oh, no, it's not your house. Oh, it, 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 well, it's, what it's DJ something. means, the bed is now a water. It's bed. now a water bed. I really, I really had to pee. Uh. <laughs> then I really need to be paying the jizz mopper more. Oh God, be. this is a, this is a PG thirteen show. Please, no, no using of the word jizz. Okay, we that's... found the dildo. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and the weird thing is, it was in Matt's bag. <laughs> I always come prepared. I'm like a Boy Scout. He's I was going to say, is that really that weird? Yeah, oh, yes, yes. I didn't think it was <laughs> weird until you dildo? made it weird, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> it's double-sided. Who else is going to use it? I don't you know, know. Jennifer Connelly might be coming 10 over. Years ago, there was a time about 10 Karen. years ago I found a modified blow-up doll in an apartment, and it was on a white leather couch. How the hell did you find my apartment? Get, get, get out of my house. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your DFG vacation, one Mike. Mike. Thank you for the Geekcast Radio Network uh, allowing us to squat in this house and destroy it. Thank you very much for joining us on this unpleasant group. You owe me $325,000, DJ. Uh, it's checking in the mail. <laughs> yeah, right. See you guys. Later. See you. Bye. But to answer the no. format question, I think I watched it just on regular Blu-ray. <laughs> Blu-ray. Yeah. Blu-ray. Oh. Well, then, did also did you watch the original version or the extended version? Because then there's two versions of that. I don't remember, honestly. Mm. Thank you. That's more of Loomis going, Michael! Michael! I shot him six times! <laughs> <laughs> that's about that that three part two. That. That's, uh, that's pretty cool to have uh, your first showing uh, in a Blu-ray. Thank you, Wes. Yeah, I can remember it. I got it through Netflix or the library, one of those two, so... Well, what did you think oh, of it, okay. though? What was your opinion? I actually thought it was quite good. Like, I'm not, I'm, I, I've watched like some of the Friday Thirteenth movies. Have not really enjoyed those. It was kind of embarrassing because I've seen <laughs> Jason X in theaters, but I've never watched Ooh. Halloween. So that was kind of like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're backwards. What was, what was the one thing that stu stood out for for the first Halloween for you? Uh, just how well it's shot for John Carpenter. I mean, he's exactly. a great movie, obviously a great movie maker, but it's just it was rather impressive just how much like. Especially for that time and and, and the horror genre, it, it was just sense. Mi miraculously shot. Really? And, have you ever seen know. the thing? I have, yeah, I've seen the thing. Yeah, and I've seen most of, of John Carpenter's movies, but that one eluded me. Have you seen Ghosts of Mars? <laughs> yeah, don't I, watch Ghosts of Mars. <laughs> I, I bought that at, at like a going out of business sale for like a local movie. <laughs> the store. movie or going the store? Out of, you, you know why it went out of business <laughs> because of Ghosts <laughs> of Mars. <laughs> it, it could have been. It could. They had lots of copies. I think I got it for a dollar twenty-five. So. Natasha Henstridge, a oh, train, Mars, an ice cube. What, what could go wrong? <laughs> everything. Oh, the answer is everything. Everything yes. went wrong. Okay, uh, Justin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there is a Joaquin Phoenix Joker film coming out and a Jared Leto Joker film coming out. Ooh. My one word. Fuck? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> the fuck are you no, thinking about? No, there's a lot of B's B's or a lot of C's on that. Yeah, fuck? Like no, it's just, it's confusing. Fuck. It's a confusing fuck because you're in the point right now in time where we look at the the slate of films that Warner Brothers has put out in their universe, and um, they they not doing a not doing a solid job right now. Now they want to confuse <laughs> the fuck out of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and it really doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm more. I don't mind a standalone Joker film uh, with Joaquin, 
Um, Scorsese but, produced Joker. Yeah, Bob, that I'm, hmm. I'm interested. That would be in, interesting. But I, I, I don't want the the other one that they're. they're doing <laughs> I think, I think we can all agree that we don't like Jared, Jared Leto. Leto's Joker, right? You know, Is that I'm, of all the three of us, <clears throat> I don't know how Dan feels about this, but I know of the three of us. I think I'm the one that likes the Jared Leto Joker the most. <laughs> I don't know. If it, <laughs> I like I like him as a base not the most of and, all the Jokers, just of the three of us in this conversation. <laughs> right, right. But I, I think I. I Someone agree with you as a base if you got rid of like the tattoos on the forehead yeah, that, that would have been fun. and and the teeth like I feel like you could do something with that character mm-hmm. and and he could probably bring it uh, a little bit better I mean that movie with direction or, or script uh, or that movie is not a good or cinematography not, however <laughs> right. is it bro well, that movie is a train wreck yeah, to begin I, I with, felt also so hard it was hard, hard to, to judge how good of a Joker he was because the movie around him was so bad so fucking and it was bad, bad. It, was, it was bad even the editing yeah. down to the editing oh, holy boy um, that's something we'll give up the ghost on. Uh, I, I I keep wanting to make a video on YouTube about. They've that. already. I watched one like the last week about the editing of the, the movie. How bad it is! It's like, just, oh, right off the bat. Yeah, cinema, right off the film bat. professor the is like breaking it down. How bad it is. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have to do that because it's it's arguably probably the worst movie I've seen because of that. Yeah. Well, you have professionals that don't know what they're doing, and 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 anytime this is brought up. They say that you know they didn't have a, a lot of time, and Warner Brothers was rushing them. Rushing them. So um, that's not an excuse. Well, at was all. David Ayer doing the editing on that as well? On top of the director? no, no, it was a trailer house, and then uh, named a couple of people. Yeah, it was, it was a uh, whoever they edited it. The first trailer it was one, house, though, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was one edit, and then there was a trailer house <laughs> that came in in the second, the eleventh hour. Then the studio showed both of them, and then they kind of made an amalgamation of the two. It's very it's incoherent. A clusterfuck. Yes. If, you, if, if clusterfuck had a movie, <laughs> well, I mean, like we, we did, we we did the commentary on that. Yeah, and we didn't really dive into because it's, we had so much other shit to dive into. Beat us down. That, that commentary beat movie. us down. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that's that was a Police a, Academy three. Have we been beaten down? Yeah. <laughs> well, at least we had but fun so, with Police Academy three. I didn't. I didn't have any fun know, with. So, I mean, <laughs> if you're going to compare was, apples to oranges, you know, uh, you know. You know. And that's when Police Academy ended. They never made. They never made another one. And th- there was until never part four, another. which was awesome. So fuck you. No, all. there is. No, it's never, <laughs> no. never happened. That. Shut but up. here's the fuck thing: <laughs> Suicide Squad <laughs> is getting a spinoff. Number one. Right. Number two. It's also getting a Joker movie. So somehow that movie is actually creating two other movies. And then on top of that, they want to throw another movie that they're already pro- producing. You know, and, and production's already starting to get going. And confuse the fuck out of everybody. You know how Marvel has like, a big get map where it shows like this movie comes out to. The, is there is the DC no. one like a fucking like like chicken noodle soup where you gotta put? I would like to like buy them a whiteboard. <laughs> Let me just buy him a whiteboard. Back into the lake. It's gonna like Charlie Day's fucking apartment and all this. Yeah, it, where he I think up it's more the... like that. It's <laughs> if anything. No, but, I mean even if, if you're not into the comic book, you know you're gonna it's gonna be the same thing where. You, you have the same movies coming out at the same time, and it's like we just saw a Joker film, and now they have another one with a different actor, and and it's and they keep making sure they tell people, yeah, this the Scorsese one, this isn't part of our universe, and and the normal well, people it's don't like get a fucking that. Halle Berry Catwoman. I mean, what the fuck yeah. are we doing? Well, it, plus, it's like all the TV shit too. It's like all the TV shit and, separate. And that's what I like. Walking Phoenix is separate. This is part of the uh, big big picture. What's, then no. What's the chance that they actually get made though? Like I have a, I have a no, sense that like none of this is actually gonna, going to be I mean, happening. I'm, normally, I'm I don't think normally happen, I would so. agree with you, but this is this is Warner Brothers right now, yeah. and they they are <laughs> a, a crack whore. They got a yeah. lot of money. That is, man, they're on fire. Come on, they come got on. a get, monkey get, with get, they, they're monkeys with dynamite. I swear, they got a lot of money, but they don't know what the fuck they're doing with it. A lot of money will make a lot of things get made. So they have no plan, and unfortunately, everybody you know everybody wants to see the Scorsese one. And um, nobody really wants to see the other one, yeah. and, and they're they're I, gun to do both, from my understanding. I think it's going to happen. I heard I, somewhere I where don't it, want it to. I heard somewhere where, it, and I thought it was interesting if they went this route. If they want to do the anti, I keep bringing up Marvel, anti Marvel, and just have none of their movies connected. Anymore. Do the villains? Just, do the villains? Do oh, the no, 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 do, no! You can do everything. You can do Batman. You can do Superman. Just have none of the movies connected anymore. Well, or why don't in some way you just try to figure out like a do, do a Vertigo side of everything? I mean, Vertigo is part of DC. Just throw a fucking Joker into the Vertigo comic type shit or something. Well, like the that. problem with that is it's already a clusterfuck, yeah. well, and it's just confusing. Keep fucking to in and clustering it. Who cares? And we already, you know, you go to the you go to the theater to see a, a Warner Brothers film, comic book film, and, and and you already know what you're kind of getting into. 
So it's not good. They've burned so many bridges as, as, as of right now that they can't say, hey, guys, jump over here real quick. No one's going to pay attention. Right. But, yeah, I, you know, Aquaman well. can save it all, though. That's, I, mean, like, <laughs> I like how everybody's kind of got fucking Aquaman to be the fucking said. savior. <laughs> Aquaman, the fish man, us. the guy who lives in the sea and talks uh, to fish uh, is going to be the fucking winner. And that's a good point, Dan, because think about this. The only movie that they seem to be able to get going right now is Aquaman. Yeah, they can't get a yeah. Flash film yeah. going. They can't get we a fucking the Batman about film Wonder going. We, okay, yeah. Wonder Woman fucked up a lot of things in a good and bad way. DC was going on a trajectory that was right to the toilet, right? Yeah. Then they come up with Wonder Woman, and Wonder Woman was great. It's like, it oh, raises wow. The they, raises the bar they figured out something. But, well, because um, they used different people, right, right, and right. It wasn't this. But immediately after that is Justice League, which is again back to being a clusterfuck. So I don't know what. Maybe what, Zack what, Snyder's it, a problem. I don't know. He wasn't even involved. <laughs> they got rid of him. They swept his ass under the rug. Literally. No, I mean, well, he left <laughs> Justice League because of reasons I won't make. Yeah, we got. You I know, won't make that stuff. Even but though I mean, I'd like to, but I won't because I'm a classy guy and I, I won't say every, something bad. I, I think everybody. No, you're was, not. You're right. You're I'm not classy at all. Uh, I think it really was just kind of like okay after Wonder Woman I was like I think maybe finally they they fixed it they 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 know what they're doing they, no they didn't no nope. <laughs> now the only thing that makes me think better is like the Aquaman like Dan is saying might do sarcastically good is because uh, I, I think it could be Justice, good I'll be honest uh, Justice I think League, it'd be a fun movie right Justice League was kind of being made before Wonder Woman came out or you know what I'm saying so yeah. that their trajectory sure. is not. They, they had to release it. It wasn't like they saw Wonder Woman and then they made Justice League. Justice yeah. League was already being like half, three quarters of the way made. In the made. middle of Justice League, we're like, oh, fuck. This sucks. So, yeah, yeah. Right, so put put Aquaman Wonder Woman out now, please. <laughs> <laughs> Help us. Help us. Save us, Wonder Woman, please. Save guys. us. <laughs> Only problem is with, with Aquaman is that, you know, it's Aquaman. <laughs> I don't it's really Aquaman. Care. I don't give a shit well, about Aquaman. Maybe I'll Aquaman movie make it. Or a Namor movie. A Namor movie. Because at least get the Fantastic Four. Movie. And that's even a Marvel thing. Well, honestly, I don't give a shit about either character. But I, I like Namor's interaction with the Fantastic Four and Black yeah. Panther. That's why I like Namor. Aquaman is this, you know. Aquaman's Aquaman. Aquaman. Talks to fish. I don't really give a shit about <laughs> Aquaman. Was only interested in me on Brave and the Bold <laughs> when he was funny. <laughs> I, I'm just curious, <laughs> like, how they're like gonna the... like. How do you make a movie that's like mostly underwater? Like, if it's anything, it can't be like the scene in Justice League because like everybody not talks about bubbles. Jesus, <laughs> not like that bubble shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't uh, talk to you on the weather, though. My entire character is predicated on that. I'm going to make a bubble <laughs> so uh, we can talk. Amber Heard's going to say in the film, it's okay. Don't worry. I swear that bubble was made for so, some old person going, Hey, how are they how talking are they? on the water? <laughs> I, I don't get it. What are they, for fucking Kanasi or something? <laughs> how are you talking Kanasi? on the water, dear? Get out of here. Hey, that the guy with the scales, eh? Hey. How do you have sex underwater? Uh, that's what I want. That's, that's a good point. Yeah, that's that I need that is research. Have you ever tried having sex in a shower? <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> Folks, I mean, it's sexy it's, talk. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe they produce like salmon do. Like, just, you know, oh, maybe. Salmon, <laughs> <He's> keep... <laughs> salmon salmon. I don't... <laughs> Aquaman breeds for life. Well, that's where we're at. We're waiting for Aquaman. <laughs> that, that's when you're. That's when you know. Way that, to go, Warner when, Brothers. <laughs> but James Wan's good. It's just you know, it's Aquaman. It's Aquaman. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we still haven't even had a bat, a bat film. No. Yeah. Well, no. bat flick. I was gonna sense. say bat flick, and I stopped myself. Stop there. yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Dan. <clears throat> this was this was requested by Matt's friend Freddie. Batista wants to star in a Gears of War film mainly because he looks exactly like the main fucking character. <laughs> He's gonna play Dom, for, I assume, huh? Oh, man, I, is, this, is this a rumor? <laughs> the, the, apparently, he's Batista's tweeting it out. He's like, yeah, I, I'm 100 percent down to play. What's his name? Phoenix, spelled with an uh, F. Marcus or something Phoenix. Like? Marcus, Marcus Phoenix. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm down with that. I, what do you think, Dan? I, I'm, I'm going with the hopeless because I, I just don't think it's possible. <laughs> Hopeless. <laughs> hopeless. Because I don't I, think it's I'm possible. Gonna I'm going to mash cut Justin going, I'm down with that. And Dan going, hopeless. <laughs> just because yeah, I just I'm don't think it's it. possible. I, this is coming, like, we, we went through all the different video game films. So I was right. coming from a, a person that just feels beaten down by watching yeah. movies like Postal. You didn't like Rampage? I haven't seen Rampage like... yet. So no, I, I saw both. Yeah, we stopped really at... Uh, Either the, the Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not The Rock. We stopped at uh, Need for Speed, or like we're done after that. So. Oh, oh, God. That, that's enough <laughs> to like, you even, drive off yeah, the road and We don't use yourself. that kind of language With, on the uh, show, Jesse? Dan. We don't say Need for Speed. No, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going it. fast, bitch. <laughs> so I just don't think it's possible to make a good video game. Maybe it'll happen, but... It, Have you played that game? 
I've Need played Need for Speed. I like the game. I've never. I oh, no, Gears of War. Uh, no, sorry. I haven't. Gears I've never played Gears of War. It's it's it's, um, it's good. Especially it's great. It's, it's cover based, right? That's a cover based game. Chainsaw. Cutting the, I played the first. Oh one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it'd be an interesting thing to to see. I mean, everything on uh, else on your list is either a remake or a fucking sequel. Yeah. And so <laughs> something like this. You know, again, yeah, video game made for to fun. movies aren't fun, but I think something like this on screen would be kind of cool to watch. Mm. I, uh, if they did the blood and they did, uh, you know, all the little creatures and stuff that come out. I, just, I, I, I had so much hope that, could make it happen. that Assassin's Creed would, was going to buck the oh, trend because I'm like, oh, you know, it's got a Michael Fassbender behind yeah. it, yeah, and then that yeah. happened. So uh, <laughs> got big kids Michael with... Fassbender. What could but, go wrong? But maybe Gears of War is just like a huge science fiction science fiction movie with like gigantic monsters. And Batista being an acting star, which I just I like Batista. I just don't know if he would make a. I don't know if that character is the main he's character make or not. A break. If like he's he, not a really. Uh, well, we know how good War, Warcraft did. That was huge. We got somebody monsters. else calling in. Oh yeah, but that's somebody else calling. God damn, we got another caller, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go. Let's go. What's up? There you go. Welcome to Simplicity Reviews Podcast. Hey guys, I had to hey. call in when you started about the Gears like, of War. Oh, is this Freddie Moss? Fuck you, Freddie. <laughs> Oh, so nice to hear you from me too, Matt. <laughs> I've heard Jack you insult our call-in guests. <laughs> <laughs> he called in just in time. We're talking about the subject that he put forth. Yes. I, th okay, I think good. he was listening live. Were you listening Were live? You listening live? I, I was listening live, but I had to stop hearing it when I had to call in, so I, I missed the last... He's, like about the school, he's about to school us, school us on Gears of War. Mr. Yeah, Moss. what do you got to say for yourself and Assassin's Creed and how bad that movie was? Oh, that movie's bad. You ain't schooling us on shit. <laughs> that movie's horrible. <laughs> um, games are too, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm all in for the, the Gears of War movie, so long as it's done correctly, which it's not right. going to be because none of them ever are. Um, I'm curious to see who they're going to cast for uh, the different characters. I was thinking for Coltrane to Terry Crews, and then there I saw go. the voice of actor course. who actually does the voice for Coltrane, and he is absolutely the one to play it. He looks a lot like him. He's gigantic, and I think he'd, he would be perfect for it. And he's a no-name pretty much as far as acting itself goes. The only problem um, with that cheap. only only problem with that game movie is that it seems like I'm only played the first one. You're gonna need a budget out of your ass, and if uh, Tomb Raider, which was dull as shit, or Rampage was, which I guess is the winner, <laughs> best video game. I, don't know. Movie. I think I think it'd be cool if you did if you did like a uh, Predator type, the first yeah, Predator. Yeah, if you, well, you had him. Isn't it, 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 alien like invasion? Really low of, budget. Not you low can't budget, low budget game Gears of War. Isn't it like an alien invasion of Earth or some shit like that? No, I think he could do it. Well, the first one probably. seems to have like the least amount of invasion angle, where it keeps getting yeah. bigger and bigger and bigger as the game goes along. Now. I, I really would like to see somebody get chainsawed to death. On that's all you. Yes. Want. That's all you really want. Yeah, hey, yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> that's all we ever. That's, and do it practical too. <laughs> you want to really kill an actor? That's yeah. kill an actor. Get an actor killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get Sorry, like what do you call? It? You get you get well, the guys that do Walking Dead. What's his name? Uh, Kurt. Uh, uh, Robert Kurtzman? Kurtzman? Oh, uh, Alex Kurtzman yeah. or whatever. Oh, Kurtzman. Kurtzman. Oh, okay. uh, KGB yeah, yeah. or whatever it is. KGB. Sorry, I've been Alex watching did. Americans. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't, and, I mean, budget, budgetary reasons makes me scared about that. The fact that it's a video game movie and all video game movies, as Dan eloquently put it, don't do well, uh, scares me in the fact that, you know, it's Dave Batista. He's great as Drax. He's okay in Spectre because he didn't speak, and he was in he was that okay last in Blade Runner. problem. Blade Runner, he was okay for the three and a half minutes he's in it. Yes, yeah, sure. That's all we need. Do we, do we need it for two and a half hours? <laughs> he's gonna be the key, he's gonna be the lead. He's, he's gonna be Dave Batista. He's Batista. a key character. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, Freddie could probably tell me. I don't remember Phoenix saying much of anything other than lines like this when he yeah. breathes really hard. He doesn't really say anything in that. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, kill it, chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's gonna be the biggest hurdle for them because Marcus Phoenix isn't the personality it's the rest of the group it's coltrane who's fun and has a good time baird who's a smart ass um and marcus is kind of the one to keep the steady head and keep him on track so batista's gonna have maybe seven lines throughout the entire movie <laughs> perfect there you go. um <laughs> that's how arnold had in predator so it's fine that's true yeah <laughs> the um the two things i want to know is who's gonna direct and i have an idea oh, and what time period are they gonna are they going to use? Because there's the Pendulum Wars when it was human on human. That'd be stupid. There was 
E-Day, which is when they didn't know what was going on, but the that's when the Locusts came out and they got their asses handed to them. Right. There's 17 years later, which is when the first game takes place, and then there's after that, which doesn't really need to be uh, have a move made about it. Um, if you guys remember back to the very first trailer for the first Gears game, it was almost haunting. If you if you look it up, well, especially with the music. Mm-hmm. Phoenix, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Um, what studio? What studio owns the rights to this? <sighs> right now, please don't Black say Black. Warner Brothers. Oh, uh, not Smart Black. So they changed to the Coalition. Um, but that's the video game studio. I have no idea what movie studio it would be. I guess it'd be like legendary, maybe or universal, maybe. Legendary would be. I mean, I'm thinking. I keep thinking Fetty Alvarez because from the Dragon Tattoo, uh, the new sequel the guy who did that. He did um, Don't Breathe, and he did uh, Evil Dead. Evil get somebody Dead. like that. Yeah, he's a good shooter. But then you do, do a lot of gets... practical stuff then, which he loves. But you know, yeah, do that shit. Then. Universal yeah, owns the rights to it. Oh, oh okay. there you go, Universal. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. You can get that guy J. A. Bayona, I, you know, who did the the latest Jurassic Park. Uh... Get the guy who did the Mummy. What, Steven Summers? <laughs> no, it'd be a, that would be awesome. I love Steven. <laughs> Steven the other Mummy. Oh, the, that's the, way the better. Tom Cruise Mummy. Yeah, Tom oh, Cruise Mummy. No. no. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's a guy who did. I, don't even, oh, I can't even remember who fucking did yeah. that movie. Who the fuck did that? The Mummy. Yeah, Dude. the Tom Cruise mummy. Wasn't that the first that's movie that not, not have a director? Is that not? Yeah, it's the yes, first film directed by itself. One. Tom Cruise directed it's it. The stupid fuck that we don't like. <laughs> Ooh, we you gotta, you gotta narrow it down, Justin. <laughs> we <lot> of, <laughs> Too many stupid, stupid fucks fuck. we don't like. We don't. We don't got a lot of stupid fucks we don't like. <laughs> I had a, I had an idea, and it's a little out there, but mm. if you focus on the gore and the intensity of it, go with Rob Zombie. Let him fucking oh. do it and have fun with it. Speaking of Halloween, have you seen the Halloween? Yeah, but that's Freddy doesn't that's like hot, scary I'm... movies. Why don't you? Hey, of, is, is it I, was was there ever a ship in in this uh, Gears of War game where they were like oh, on a ship, this like a spaceship, like a space spaceship, like a space spaceship? Make no, it a spaceship like, uh, ship carriers, oh, like human being carriers around oh. like Earth. So. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm working on the budget here. You can't have this on Earth. With this, but you can you're gonna need like two hundred million dollars to make this movie. And they're gonna I think, make it I think you. it can make it back. Oh, people love game. People love Gears of War. What was the gross of Tomb Raider? What was the well, gro- Tomb Raider? Well, more established okay, property. Well, there's a lot of things to Tomb Raider. One <laughs> rampage. Uh, a lot of people do not like women, sadly, because they're That's assholes. True. Okay, rampage and with the Rock, the the, the most muscle bound freak of fucking Hollywood right now. That movie know. didn't make many money, and that's the I, Rock. Yeah. I don't know. You're not going to get a budget bigger than Rampage, is what I'm saying. That's the biggest budget you're going to get for a video game movie. Assassin's well, what Creed was, well, what was, was garbage the, uh, because budget it, for it cost Rampage, like 50 miles. Rampage has the, the fact that yeah. the fact that Rampage was made. It's like yeah. this seems like it's a better property for a film. Mm-hmm. Oh no, the property yeah. itself is ripe. I'm just saying studios are chicken shits, and all they're going to look at well, is okay. Also, they're stupid as fuck, well, and so. they're stupid as fuck. So all they're going to say is okay. Well, what did they give The Rock for Rampage? We gave him a hundred million. You get half of that. Well, how That's about you I, make? How about you make <laughs> Batista the main star, and you make The Rock fucking Dom Dominic? That's the only way it works. There you go. Then you, <laughs> get the, the only then you got your money right there. <laughs> you get your money, but you it, without with Batista by himself, unless yeah, James Gunn, unless James Gunn's gonna do it, you ain't gonna get the no fucking. And well, Feige's maybe gonna James produce Gunn will it. do it then. <laughs> What, well, that might be a bet. But to your point about like the Warner Brothers movies or Warner Brothers making Justice League and or continuing with all these Joker films because they have nothing else. I mean, yeah. Universal doesn't have much else right now, so that's true. Yeah, yeah. they got rid of their oh, no, monster their movies, monster universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the dark universe is dead. <laughs> the dark universe. And Tom is Cruise here. killed it's it. Gone. <laughs> they don't snap that shit away real quick. <laughs> well, they could do that. Would be a perfect opportunity to start this then because everything else is dead over there. Yeah. Well, including. You know. I'm done. <laughs> did. Did, did, did. Well, Freddie, thanks for calling in. Uh, we're we're uh, we're have our fingers crossed on Gears of Batista, as I'm, we're going to call it. Gears of Batista. Gears. Of <laughs> what is his real name? Dave, is his real name D- Dave, Dave of Batista? Dave of War. <laughs> Dave of War. I'll watch a movie called Dave of War. I watch the fuck out of that. <laughs> you get your budget then. Yeah. <laughs> what you calling it? Gears of Batista. It's a, it's a God nah. of War and Gears of War crossover Dave of, that Dave everybody of War. always wanted. Can't wait. So good. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that they're making a Bumblebee movie. No, well, speaking, mean, speaking oh of devil. Boy. <laughs> speaking of devil. All right. Uh, Jesus. Thanks for calling in, Freddie. We gotta get, we gotta All move right. on to Bumblebee stuff. Thanks, Freddie. Hey guys. 
Yep. Thanks for calling. Enjoy. Matthew. Justin what? Just touched what do you want? With his, with his fingers. Travis Knight. Sorry, tried. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Knight tries to fix the Transformers universe uh, films how, by how do, uh, doing how did I get this? I, got one I thought I was going to get something better than this. Nope, you're not. Matt. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. I, Sorry, I got a, bitch. I, I, I like got a question, DJ. You're, you're, you're the Transformers guy. I got a question. Yeah, you're, you're, I'm, you're I'm like the Transformers the guy. guy. I'm the Transformers yeah, guy. The tra- All right, let's go. <laughs> I got a question. Bring it, bring it. Is she... Does, does, uh, who's the who's the uh, you know the lead? I forget her name. Haley Ste- Haley Steinfeld. I love yeah, her. Does she fuck Bumblebee? I think she fucks Bumblebee. Yes. <laughs> I think it's the shape of water with a transformer. Oh what? Okay. <laughs> That's the vibe. I got. Are you are you I gonna fe- watch it now? Ooh. You watch it now, won't you? <laughs> no, no, I won't. It's Transformers. Why would I watch it? So Dan, wait, you're not in. For, you're not in for shape of water with a Bumblebee. Come on. <laughs> wait, with a Bumblebee? Like what's going on? Like that? Like with a real yeah. Bumblebee? Yeah. Like yeah. it's stung in the ass? <laughs> well, don't like. Bumblebees, when they mate, they die? Or is that something else? No, that's not. That's well, not. when they sting Wolf you, dark. their like guts get ripped out because they leave oh. their stinger inside of you. Uh, that's so we're saying... Well, bumblebees also don't sting people. They just bumble around. Transfer- Transformers movies are not scientifically accurate? Is that... It's, uh, not one of, yeah, not a one. So. <laughs> not a one. So, Matt, what do you think? <laughs> I see, I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. This is your dick. <laughs> okay, so you're asking me my, what my opinion is on this? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll what's, give you time. What's the Matt? first word that comes opinion. to mind? That's how the game works. Oh, what was there already a trailer for this? Yeah, we're yeah. Just, you yeah. Can see it. No, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't know this was a fucking thing. I had to like. Did you see the trailer, Dan? I did. I, I did. Would you? Think? I actually I have this one. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> see my word because I think it was on my list. I, I, my word was apprehension. Because oh, I, 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 even now with the shape of water thing, I just do in there. Maybe I mean that might. I like the shape of water, so maybe that's the thing I'm like. Bubble bee. I just, I just changed the whole perspective, Dan. I just added <laughs> robot sex yeah. with Haley Steinfeld. But oh. I had no hope in this whatsoever, and I watched the trailer, and I'm like, actually, I kind of like what they're going with, minus the whole. Uh, relationship with with with, uh, with Bumblebee, but mostly because like I, I love Cuba Cuba and the Two Strings. I love and yeah. that's the same director. So I'm thinking maybe with with it a little bit more you know, tied down. It's not as over the top. There's only a few characters. It could work. Maybe this could be the the uh, and it seems like I'm not a huge. I don't know much of trans, Transformers. Is the thing I missed in, in my my but I part part of the Geekcast Radio. They all love Transformers, so. I've learned through osmosis, and it seems like a lot of designs of the characters, a lot of what they're going for is very much in the realm of the first generation Transformers. So maybe they're trying to yeah. throw the fans a bone, but yeah. I, it, at the end of the day, it's still a Transformers movie, so I'm still concerned about it. So at the end of the yeah, day, I, it's I, still a Transformers movie. <laughs> it is, and I, I think it still has. Uh, I agree with with you on, on a lot of your points there. It, it, it's because it takes place in the '80s, right? Doesn't it take place in the '80s? Well, you're yeah, in there. Yeah, you're yeah. fucking yeah, it in. Does. It's a prequel, yeah. Yeah, so that's what's that little strange about that with the timeline and whatnot. But um, it, it seems to be the exact same format where you know, kid gets their first car, turns out to be a fucking transformer. Government's after them, and I kind of hope it 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 doesn't go that way. It seems like that way in the trailer. It's Iron Giant, it's fucking Iron Giant, dude. <laughs> well, and that's true. That's there's a little Iron Giant there, little. and of course, <laughs> fucking little. a robot. There's a shed. There's a fucking the, the government's coming. It's the same. Thing. Bumblebee's gonna say he's Superman. Super but, a, but at least it's it's closer to uh, you know to Bumblebee is is the 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 beetle. So um, that's it's cool to see that. You know, right. it's a little closer. I guess if you're a fan, I'm not a fan. Of, I'm I'm with Dan on this. I, I learned from you guys. <laughs> I never really watched the. I'm the only one here that with. actually I'm gave a shit a, about yeah, Transformers. You're the only Transformers yeah. mark on this show because everybody else is like, yeah, Transformers cool. <laughs> If that, yeah, I, I, I was always like Transformers. All right, robots. It's like I'm, witness, I'm witnessing an atrocity, and the two people next to me are like, "Yeah, whatever." <laughs> <laughs> I've been like, through what you're doing. A, <laughs> I remember, I remember DJ saying, "Was it the third one?" Did you remember you told me about like, "Oh, you should watch the third one." I'm like, "I, I don't need to watch the third one." I, I, watched I was, the I was trying movie. to trick him. I was just wanted, I just wanted Justin to watch it. I looked the comments. Hey, you should YouTube. watch that third Transformers film. It's like, what? I have the other two. Watch, watch yeah. it. It's so good. You ended up uh, going on YouTube, and, and what's the series where they showed that it was a, they redid it with uh, drawings? Oh, like, uh, I know. Like, uh, how how it how it should have ended? How it should how it like should have ended? Yeah. And uh, and then when it was ended, you were like, "Oh, that's about it." So now you don't have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And, and that's sad because the only Transformer movie I've ever seen was the first one. That's the only one I've seen. 
Uh, yeah. and, th- and that's the best case scenario. And how many are there? Seven, Four? six, five. I think it's and what does that tell five? you? Uh, you know. It tells you we don't give a flying fuck, <laughs> and it's the Chinese. <laughs> the Chinese love it. They love it. <laughs> we got to put some Asians in there. We'll, we'll just base it in China. Perfect. <laughs> that's, that's part three. Well, but so, then yeah. you also got racist roster robots, right? That was part two. Yeah, they can't read. Robots that can't read. You you have to hand it to him. him. You have to hand it to him for putting something in there like that. There was like, I give Michael Bay credit. It 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 takes a lot of balls before the show to be racist. It was ahead of its time. (laughs) He knew what was coming. Who knew you could stereotype robots? But you could. He knew the race war was coming. He he knew it was coming. He he saw into the fucking future. He looked into the Matrix leadership. It has a Transformers drop right there. Uh... Like, Justin, um, <clears throat> what about me? How come I don't get to talk about stuff? You don't give a fuck about Transformers. You You're literally right, just said that. Okay. <laughs> you tricked me. You didn't want to see I didn't me trick say you. anything. You don't care. You don't mm. care. <laughs> Bullshit. I, I can tell you the cure for cancer is in fucking Transformers the animated movie. You're like, ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make I might, it. I might give it like a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Opening credits. Okay. Um, Palizzi. But if there's robot fucking. Oh, he's told- oh, definitely yeah. fucking that girl. Well, definitely. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's Duh. literally the same shot from Shape of Water. It's they're underwater. They're in an embrace. It's the same fucking movie. But is she the same size? I mean, I, I know Haley Stanfield is pretty it's a tall. Transform she's, you can she's transform. Very, she's very uh, like long lady. Uh, well, what? Well, <laughs> Transformers have the ability, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, DJ, since you're the master. Of this, no, I'm not the master. They have the ability to actually transform into any other car that's nearby. Yeah, they, so they replicate. It could be a it. scooter he transforms into. Oh, like a razor? It has to, it has to have mm-hmm. it, it has Ooh. to have equal mass and size, apparently. Equal. Oh, Jesus. What a geek. Science. What a nerd. You nerd. <laughs> Equal mass and size, actually. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It can sorry. transform into a fucking oh, the uh, jar of peanut butter. Fine, whatever. whatever. <laughs> All right, uh, Justin. <clears throat> Al Pacino yes. is added to the star of the cast oh. of Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. You know, this is one of probably two things I think that were on your list that I was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at least Justin cool. gets something that's on his list. Ah, eh, fuck off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who, who doesn't want to see Pacino? Here's a... To see that, I mean, we've already seen um, Robert, De uh, Robert De Niro, yes, and, and, Je- and Matt's uh, favorite fucking that, Quentin. That was fun. I love that movie. Yeah, yeah I agree. I, I, well, it's Tarantino. I don't really. There's well, no movie I don't really don't like. It yeah, it. <laughs> but um, to see Pacino, that would be cool. Is he playing that, Charlie Manson? No, I think he's playing no, the he, agent of Leo. I believe. Yeah, of the the cowboy. Right? Have they announced yeah. who's playing Charlie Manson? I think that's the last thing they're going to cast. Because I mm. think Brad Pitt's the stunt man. Leo's the lead. Mm. Uh, this exactly. like, it's like everybody's in that movie. Marco Robbie's in that fucking movie. Timothy Oliphant's in that fucking movie. Luke fucking Perry's in that fucking movie. Luke Perry? <laughs> Luke Perry, yeah. Hell yeah. Good job. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I could have swear I heard Tom Cruise was thrown about, but I don't know if they, if he's still involved or not. I'd love to see Tom Cruise in a Tarantino movie. Well, is this, this is what, one of the last couple films by Tarantino? Maybe the, one of the, I mean, the penultimate? More, penultimate? This is like the penultimate How many penultimate more he has film? left? He has two, two more, I think. He has two more left? That's it? I, th- I want to say two. Do you believe, does anybody believe this is no. going to be it? No. I don't know. After all these fucking, um, after all the Me Too things and everything. Oh, the, that, the, he, the he might be going, stuff. oh, well, uh, hmm. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. And I may not even be ahead for very long because <laughs> I'm sure somebody's going to call me out any minute. Wasn't he also, also yeah, like that. tied to a Star Trek movie for a while? Is that so That's what I thought. Yeah. I, mean, I think he's producing and writing it. But I, I, that uh, they went ended away up too, that, though. That, like, a woman director, right? Didn't they go for the woman director? I don't know. I would love to see him do make one of those a Star Trek. That would have been cool. That would have been awesome. And that would have reinvigorated the franchise, which was... I, I mean, think the I franchise think, is still in a good spot, though. I mean, Into yeah, Darkness I mean, was good. The, and, Beyond, uh, didn't, Beyond, Beyond okay. didn't do as well as the other two. I but, like Beyond. I mean, but yet it was better than the second one. It, yeah. It, I like Beyond know. a lot. Yeah, I did too. But it just didn't perform as well. Yeah. Mm. Didn't have Benedict Cumber, Cumberbatch in there. That's what you needed. Oh, it didn't have the... Uh, He's not con, but he is. Yeah, Inspector Lufa, but it didn't have a... Lufa. <laughs> at Sherlock. Inspector Lufa. Got the wrong BB, BBC guy, so... Uh, <laughs> Whoops. But no, I, I think if Tarantino were to do a Star Trek, it'd be dope. I mean, this movie seems like it's just like uh, fucking the Ocean's Eleven of Tarantino movies, though most of his films have like... It's got everybody in it anyway. But I it mean, grows. not to this every year. Not every to film cal- grows. Think about the which is the most star-studded one of people who were famous at the time, not who became famous <sighs> afterwards. So God. I mean, Pulp it's got to be what Jackie, Jackie Brown? Brown, Jackie Brown, either one of them. Pulp Fiction might be up there though. 
but th- who was famous? It was Bruce Willis and Samuel Bruce Jackson. Bruce Willis, Samuel Jackson, John Travolta. John Travolta was bullshit at that time. That's the whole point. He was nothing. Uh, he was he was look who's talking Travolta at that time. I like only people that were really famous now. in there were was probably Bruce and Sam. And maybe Uma. Maybe. She maybe was, Uma. She okay. Like well, a, okay, let's... Damn. Hmm. I don't That's think anybody else was big in there. Maybe be Kill Bill 1. Thing was nobody. Maybe Kill Thing Bill Volume like, 1. Kill Bill. Oh, yeah. Maybe Kill Bill. Because, well, no. This is Uma, who's kind of nothing. Vivica nobody, Fox was hot at the time. Vivica was all right. Michael Han- Madsen. Daryl Hannah was still up there. Eh, mm. Really? <laughs> Lucy Lou was up there. up there. Lucy Lou was definitely Lucy up there. Lucy Lou was famous. Lucy Lou was famous. D- David Carradine was not famous. I, th- I mean, people know who he is, but he wasn't like, oh my God, David Carradine was, you know, it was like. Well, you know, he, he had to hang himself higher. Than <laughs> <laughs> oh, too soon. I guess. What? Well, <laughs> <No, about. it's, laughs> for us, it's never too soon. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, I'm just saying he had a st- he had all these really big names and he had to you know hang himself higher than the rest. <laughs> He's hey, talking. Hey, 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 don't choke! Don't get choked up on this uh, information. Give me, right? oh, it's coming. I, I quit this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at right. a point now in my life where I feel like <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna move on to something else. Uh, Matthew, <laughs> you can't quit because you're next. No. Uh, <laughs> the cast of the animated Adams Family movie has been revealed. Hmm. hmm. I, I I I didn't know who was going to be a part of this until I looked at looked it up about an hour and a half ago. So but, you did your homework. Uh, I'm glad yeah, he, I did a little homework. Put so much effort. One, <laughs> well, this was on my fucking list, so fuck you all very much. Could have watched the trailer for Bumblebee. <laughs> well, you know, Bumblebee. You know, I'm sure it's going to be there by the time I get done with this podcast. We'll still be That's there. That's true. Uh, mm-hmm. How about uh, in in the immortal words of Raul Julia? I'm just go Showtime. <laughs> Is that him? I thought it was he of course. That, he, he said that in, in uh, Adam's Family, the first one. So. Uh, I like this fucking cast. This cast is this pretty cast good. Is dope. This cast is it's, almost too good. <laughs> it's stop motion, but it's what stop motion or is it just animated? I thought they were thought doing it, it like just... Hotel Transylvania. They're not doing it like that. Are they? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I've only um, seen the picture. I like it all. I like I, I, Oscar Isaac is pretty much like the spiritual successor of Raul Julia. I'll take he that. He looks just and fucking like him. So. You got a. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know who. Well, it's at, only voices. It's only yeah, voices. That's, that's what sucks. This this cast is so good they can make a live action out of this. Bette not Midler is uh, Grandmama, and you have uh, Chloe, what, Chloe Grace, Grace Moretz. Moretz is Wednesday. She's a perfect fucking Wednesday. That's fucking perfect. You have, you have the fucking annoying kid from uh, Stranger Things in it. But Why whatever. you hate Wolf Hard? Why you hating out Wolf Hard? Wolf Hard, Finn Wolf Hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just because I don't like Stranger name, Things as much as a lot. Speaking of Stranger like Things, Stranger I'm, I'm going to segue a little bit. How come everything now is being produced by the producers of Stranger Things in Arrival? Because it's the same guy. I think it's, it's Sean Levy. Fucking ret- uh, I'm <laughs> <gonna say> <laughs> it's fucking... It's, it's a little weird. <laughs> it's a little weird? Well, because Stranger Things is super fucking successful and Arrival was I, I was playing. I was watching trailers yesterday and there were you two don't, you don't go trailers from the producer the of... I watched I, that were saying the, the same producers. I was like, what? But, but, this is but weird. You, don't, you always got to lead with your best foot on marketing. You don't go, hey, I'm from the producers of Assassin's Creed and... <laughs> I would. I mean, if the movie Mortal looks Kombat good, Annihilation, if the movie Cooper. looks good, I'm still gonna watch it. It doesn't matter. You're, the, you're in the minority. You're you're um, not gonna get me with like oh Stranger Things. I'm probably gonna be less apt to watch it now. You're, you're you would be shocked how many people. Well, go, they're gonna miss wow, my Stranger six dollars and thirty six cents on a Saturday matinee. I mean, they're trading you. They're trading you, you for the other the majority, <laughs> man. <laughs> you're right. I gotta I gotta go get my uh, baklava and my uh, schnitzel. <laughs> Six dollars. What fucking movie theater you go to? <laughs> six right by the house. They opened up the new theater. The first showing of the day is six dollars and thirty six cents. Holy or shit. by the temple. For yeah, right by the <laughs> temple. Temple shop. Well, first of all, I shouldn't be going to the movies because I have to drive there in Shabbat. I shouldn't be. Going yeah, that's there. true. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> shot it. The fucking the, the the cast looks really really good, so I'm looking forward to it. So I think it will be fun. I probably I'm, won't I'm watch like, it. But it, yeah, it this is the one I will never see I was it. Like, <laughs> I think I'll it's wa- going to be fun. I'll never see the movie. <laughs> Why is it? Look, Allison Janney plays who? She plays some character I don't know. She's though. a made-up character. That's a, she's like the main uh, character. But it's Allison Janney. I don't care. She's great. I like Allison Janney. Charlie Theron is Morticia. I like that. Charlie Theron would be a perfect... If they did this live action right now, would you be against any of these people? Is no, I, I, would, I would prefer a live action, actually. I wish they were doing live action and not doing a cartoon. Yeah, I guess because if you do live, if you do cartoon, it's cheaper, and then you can do it forever. You can do like seventy of them, like Hotel Transylvania, or fucking well, uh, it, whatever, whatever the fuck. Do a movie. No. 
I'm <laughs> I want it. Please. What doing Please. This? Say again. What company is... Uh, it's oh, Netflix, God. isn't it? Or is, is it, it Illumina Amazon? Is it? I thought it was Illumination or some shit. I don't know. I thought this we, was like a... I thought this was like... Is this a movie or, or, or a show? We didn't do our research. Uh, <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> to Dan. <laughs> <laughs> who can bring the show back to... <laughs> to greatness. And because Dan, Dan didn't do good. his resource either. He's like, I'm taking a day off. Fuck that. I ain't doing <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Justin. Uh, last last one. Um, uh, ben Affleck is uh, back as Batman? Question mark. You think? All right. Well, it's MGM. <laughs> MGM is producing. Uh, MGM. Is oh, great. Yeah, they don't, they're not even a studio out. anymore. What? what, what? <laughs> MGM's it's doing it's a, mo- it's a movie. It's not a. It's it's not Netflix or anything. It's a movie that's yeah, coming out right. by uh, MGM. Okay, uh, Bad Flick. <laughs> Thank uh, you for that important correction. <laughs> okay, well there you go. Uh, there we go. A movie that's being created by a studio that doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. So, all right. <laughs> I'm so glad we talked about it's, this. It's perfect. I, at, at this point, I'm, I'm I know that's gonna come out before it fucking whatever this Bad Flick comes out. <laughs> <laughs> so at least I can look forward to that. What was it? What'd you say? Uh, ben Affleck is back as Batman truck. All right. <laughs> I guess. That's my word. All right. All right. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm in an abusive relationship yeah, with yeah. this you, fucking you thing. Yeah, he keeps coming back, huh? Every week, it's, oh, he's not doing it. Next week, oh, he is doing it. Next week, oh, he's not his brother. Justin, why do you have a black eye? I fell down the stairs. Uh, <laughs> I could, I could, at this point, I could care less. You know, it, it would have been nice. It would have been cool. Um, but unfortunately, uh, I've, I've lost a lot. I mean, it's just... <laughs> After after Batman vs Superman, that. you know we were like, oh yeah, you know the only really good thing about that was it was Batman, Batman, and then yeah, Justice yeah. League comes, and then yeah. the way they, um, you know, as you saw the way they they shot uh, Gotham City right. as a TV fucking movie, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and he just he honestly just doesn't seem like he wants to do it anymore, and he got Warner Brothers with their whole fucking thing. So hey, I I would love to see I'd love to see a standalone. Uh, Batman film with uh, Ben Affleck and Matt that Reed. would be great. I, I would love to go to the theater to see a, a Batman film. It's so, been a while, but if, it, if they go to Comic Con, they come on stage and Ben Affleck comes out there with Matt Reeves with a, with a, with a stoked little flame, little Batman little, flame. Little, yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, it'd be cool. I, I, I hopefully it comes out soon and that'd be great and all. You know, I don't want to say, oh, you know, in six years we're gonna do a Batman film because it's just this abuse back and forth with us. Just fucking shut up. Just get it done already. You're not gonna do it. Move on. I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. Uh, you know, the Batman property. It's it's always the one that's always gonna do good at Warner Brothers. And for some odd reason, we've gotten all these we've got a fucking Aquaman movie before a fucking Batman film in this universe. He's gonna save us all. He's gonna well, I'm save gonna see us. See the all. Batman film with both the Walking Phoenix and the Jared Leto Joker in it. You want two fucking Jokers? Yeah, why not? Because Joker's just a concept. It's more of an idea than it is an actual person. Don't, 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 don't you quote that fucking... <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and they're saying they're saying the villain is a Penguin, right? Isn't oh, that the rumor? Yeah, wait. The Dana DeVito's back. Oh, God. Who, who are you casting as a Penguin? Jonah Hill? Who are you Dana doing? Dana DeVito. No, he's too fucking old. Get, get, what? Get, <laughs> you're going to get Tim Burton's... <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> No, Burgess no. Meredith is back. Josh Gad. Digging, digging him up. Josh Gad is the Ooh. penguin. Oh. Well, you know, that's, not a bad idea. that's actually not a bad pick right there, Josh Gad. That's why Dan's on the show. He's just really <laughs> sad. <laughs> Dan, and Dan is here to bring the good ideas and say, <laughs> you guys are good fucking ideas. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, if they do the, the, the penguin, I hope they like do the more, not like the crazy creature, just like the kind of oddball like businessman type of character yeah i think like it would make joker a lot more sense i don't know if you guys played the telltale game where penguin was like more oh, like God. the gotham city tv show one where he's he wasn't like fat and stumpy he was kind of like wiry and you know pasty and why shit. not just bring the guy from gotham in as a joker then because it will remind me of gotham and i'll want to eat a bullet wasn't he like <laughs> wasn't he like the one good thing about like the gotham I, I, series? I, there I, isn't one good thing about <laughs> oh, I thought there after was, sorry. after jada pinkett smith w- w- fish mooney i was like uh, okay. <laughs> fish mooney <laughs> should never, be the villain you'll never if you want dj to leave your show introduce a character named fish fucking mooney <laughs> <laughs> from, from day one <laughs> day day one is fish mooney For real? okay deuces <laughs> Yeah, I'm terrible. Fish Moody. I'm Fish Moody. Get the fuck out of here, okay? <laughs> you could you could do a really cool Batman film. 
you know, with with the, the talent. You could do multiple right cool Batman films. And, it's and fucking the, Batman. He writes himself. You know me fucking how easy it is. Well, you know, like well, Ben yeah, Affleck you said already before. already put Deathstroke in there. Just put Deathstroke. He's out. He's villain. out. No, he's no. out. Oh, he's no. already out. We, he's due. Do you what know happened? they cast him for oh. because of a, a fan art picture? They cast Joe Manganiello because somebody had a fan art picture of him as Deathstroke, and they cast him in Justice yeah, League. Yeah, apparently the story goes they they Google, they Googled his name and they clicked images. And <laughs> Joe Manganiello. These are these are facts, folks. Justin is not this, this is literally this is uh, literally, literally verbatim. And they saw two images in Google Images of, uh, of as as that. Um, I forget the name of the artist. Though, but, uh, it's, it's probably like, it's like, like, like a deviant art or something like that. <laughs> it's like a fucking kid in the back of a high school classroom is running fucking Warner Brothers. It doesn't I make mean, any I sense. I mean, Joe Mangelo looked pretty good I as looked, Deathstroke. Looked good. He looked okay. But we talked about this on Justice League commentary that we don't want that because we have... Because it's stupid. Batman has, has, has <laughs> such the greatest collection. Deathstroke's like of, number 29 in Bat, Batman's <laughs> rogues gallery. He has right. nothing to do with fucking Batman. He's, They'll put Hush. Robin. How about Hush? What if, <laughs> will they put Hush in there? Well, that's what I'm saying. So, sure. so, so Ben Affleck had said that when he does his standalone film, this was like seven years ago, whatever it was now, yeah. um, that it would be more of a detective. Yeah, and, I remember that. I was I looking heard, forward to that. And I, Make I, a I black got, like, mask. The, the, and make I was like, a oh, calendar maybe, yeah. killer. Somebody yeah. floated the idea. Why don't they do it in black and white and make it like uber noir? I was like, oh, that's be cool as shit too. And I haven't heard. Shit oh, that's, that's a stupid idea, DJ. Why is that fucking stupid? Because I'm the internet and you're stupid. Oh, that's true. You are the internet. <laughs> you are the internet. <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> God damn it, internet! Leave me alone. No, I'm a troll. Ah! No, you're an idiot. <laughs> this has been word association. Don't blame us. Bling Merriam-Webster. <laughs> I'm a sexist racist. Ah! Yeah, you <laughs> suck because you're not my color. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's do a little uh, TV roundup. <clears throat> Dan, Dan the man, the Giants fan. I'm gonna keep this ribbon, the, just digging the night. Dan the man, it. the Giants, Giants fan. Giants fan. Watch the Giants win the Super Bowl this year. Uh, <laughs> Beat the Patriots. I, I will when I rewatch when they played the Patriots a few years ago. <laughs> He's gonna rewatch that Super Bowl. I'll David always Tyree. remember that day. Yeah. <laughs> All I remember is David Tyree. Uh, what have you been watching on television other than the Giants Super Bowl win? <laughs> Well, I, I've been watching a lot of Parks and Rec because it just makes me feel better about the world. Uh, thank true. goodness. Yeah. Thank God. But uh, why is the world uh, going down into a shit? <laughs> yeah, it's it's your window, window, Justin, uh, <laughs> it's yeah, great it's, it's, it's a funny thing. Yeah, very much so. But uh, wow. in actual real current or newish t- TV, I did watch uh, Lost in Space on, on Netflix. Oh, somebody else other than me has seen that show. <laughs> thank goodness. It's in my queue. They might get it's a in season my queue. two. <laughs> might be, might be. What do yeah. you think? My, it was one of the few shows like my wife and I both had someone interest in, so we, we were watching that. And uh, I, I, the only thing I remember by, about Lost in Space is I did watch the '90s movie when it was on Stars like all the time. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. The 90s movie. Gary Oldman. <laughs> oh, when he turns into the spider. Matt yeah, LeBlanc. Really yeah, weird. yeah. That's the turns of the spider. Fuck, I forgot about that too. <laughs> yeah, no, Justin never forgot. <laughs> I forgot about the spider. <laughs> there was a spider in there and a spider in Wild Wild West. That's what when a seven year old's going like, what? <laughs> spider? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Minus having like the worst parents in the world because it feels like they like put their kids in really unnecessary danger all the time. Very true. Uh, yeah. uh, I did. I'd like it. I have not. I'm like four episodes in. But oh, uh, you haven't finished it. Okay, okay. No, no. I'm only. Yeah, I'm only like four or five episodes in. But I, I, I like it. I, I thought you know production value is pretty solid for a Netflix show, and yeah. I'm like most of the characters. I, I do find it's getting a little repetitive because I feel like uh, for a show like that, it's like. It seems like some of the situations are life and death situations they get on every episode seem like they're a little contrived at times. But overall, I I find that uh, it's more positive than negative for me. They, they how do you feel about I, I was is this Miss Don West? I like the Don West character on this version than the Matt LeBlanc version of Don West. Yeah. <laughs> well, he is Matt LeBlanc. He is Matt LeBlanc. How you doing? <laughs> Yeah. How you doing? How you doing, Space? How hey, you space, doing, how space? you doing? <laughs> Major step up. Lost? Yeah. Hey, 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 Space, you lost? <laughs> well, no, he's. I forget the guy's name. He's really. I thought. I thought he was pretty entertaining, and he gets better as the show goes on. But like, just as uh, realistic, and the robot uh, they've revamped completely. Where he's Robbie like a, is cool now. 
he's like a fucking transformer at this point. <laughs> he's like well, Bumblebee. How's, what's her name? That was uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Parker from Posey. House of Cards. Parker Posey. I think they said Parker Posey was in it, right? Oh yeah, yeah she's she's the Gary Oldman. Oh, she's like uh, the. How do you feel guy? about Parker Posey, Dan? I, I, how do you feel about her? <laughs> it's funny watching it. I'm like, is that Elizabeth Banks? I'm like, no, it's Parker like Posey. Oh no, <laughs> they, Ooh. she's reached that part of her life where it's like, you're Elizabeth Banks, right? It's like, no, Parker Posey. I was- <laughs> <laughs> Please, I've been in stuff. I, I was going to see the pussy cats, you dick. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> uh, I like it. I, I, you know, she, I think she plays the character well enough. You know, it's the she's where I'm at. You're still getting some backstory for her and stuff like that, but. Right. Yeah, I, I like the direction of 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 the character. A little, she's a little bit more. I wouldn't say nuanced. She's still a little over the top, but uh, I do like the approach she's taking. I, I when I think Parker Posey, oddly enough, I think I think of uh, Blade Trinity. So it's a step up from that. Oh, oh boy. Jesus, yeah. she's not that. Yeah. That's, how I think of, that's how I think of Triple H as well. And Ryan, and yeah, Ryan which Reynolds. It, it's one of the funniest scenes ever, which is Triple H running in that movie. It's just it's, it's, <laughs> there's can't. a lot of funny things about that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, she, she's uh, less funny because the, the doctor not funny, huh? Well, Doctor Smith on the TV <laughs> show, the old black and white TV show, folks. It's kind of like you know, bumbling <laughs> that way. She's not that. She's like a sociopath. <laughs> I, I want that. <laughs> what the? <laughs> 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 no. Bring Robinson, back the goofy right, come shit with in me. Uh, movies. I want that. He was very. He's very. God, I don't really want to use this word. He was very ped- pedophilic in, really? in the television show. The old black and white. Come here, Will. Because it was always Smith and Will Robinson in the fucking robot. <laughs> come over here. Come over come, here, little come boy. With me in my experiments. I have some candy with me in my experiments. You. you can never do that now. I think that's what I think changing it to Parker Posey kind of works. It makes it better. It makes it less creepy. <laughs> she can molest me anytime. Oh, easy. <laughs> easy. She has a dog that turns into a vampire. Uh <laughs> Well, yeah, you're right. Forgot about that. <laughs> and she was in Superman Returns. Uh <laughs> Justin what have you been watching on the television? I watched quite a bit. So, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here Buckling we folks. go. <laughs> so, I blew through the uh, the Netflix uh, you blew, love who, show. Who'd you blow? Who, oh, Love. You, yeah, you blew uh, love. Gillian, what's her, Gillian, what's her yeah. name? Jacobs. That was oh, a, I, I stopped. I stopped. Oh, that was good. It got yeah. good. It really? got really good. It was, yeah. a part three of, it was one episode that really pissed seasons? me off, and I was like, I'm, I'm like... Three? I'm three? I want to say. It was three, because then... Then I blew through uh, Evil Genius, that that doc. Oh, the, mm. the the pizza bomber. Yeah, oh, I re- yeah, I watched yeah. that too. You you remember that, Dan? Don't I you? do, I do remember that. <laughs> Dan's life story. <laughs> Dan Clark, the pizza bomber. <laughs> Dan Clark. Pizza they never bomber. caught him until now. We, we cracked the well, case. Did they? <laughs> oh, did, they catch- <laughs> did you watch it, Dan? I did watch it. I did. Uh, did you finish it? Oh uh, yeah, all the way through. What'd you think? I, I'm a sucker for like the, the true crime stories and I do I was aware sure. I grew up in Pennsylvania, so like that I was interested in the case and I remember yeah. hearing about it, but I never knew anything by, by behind it. Ooh. Like so yeah. I found the, the story itself rather rather satisfying and intriguing and just one of those crazy like uh it was good. In, insane. Yeah. Just it just it felt very Pennsylvanian in the sense of like yeah, those <laughs> are people that would live in Pennsylvania. Uh, it does. Yeah. It's just based upon how how terrible the cops did. Yeah. Yeah. Of the oh, investigation. You guys got bad cops, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> what a coincidence. Hey. Well, no, this, Miami. Is the same, this is the same pizza bomber as the guy that was like in that thirty minutes or less film, right? Is, and, is that the same? So they, uh, they, that was a true story. Yeah, they say it's well, not. The people who made thirty minutes or less say it's not based upon that. But if you look okay. at thirty minutes or less and loosely based, it seems like it kind of is. But it's oh, oh yeah, yeah. Strapping a bomb around your neck, yeah, delivering make pizza, you rob a bank and everything, like delivering pizza and shit like that. Yeah. It's a very good. It's a very good series. I would suggest you watch it. It's short. It's not too long, but. It, it does venture off into a, a different case as well, hmm. which isn't well known about. And then it's it's making the connections as they go along. Um, it's very intriguing and unfortunately just a shitty job by the police department. So then after that, I started watching Wild Country. Oh, good. good from the same way from the same from the same guys. And um, I'm not I'm not finished that yet. Well, it wasn't Wild Country uh, that was it, what the Duplass guys, right? Yes, and they and they did they did the uh, Evil Genius as well. Oh, oh, I didn't know they did both. Oh, shit. oh okay. yes. Oh. So now you're gonna watch it. I am. I like the fucking Duplass guys. 
Yes. It's funny yes. how they, go, they went from like a comedy show on HBO that nobody watched but me, and then now well, they, they have, produced it. It's not like they, you know, they produced. They got their fingers all over it. They got their fingers. They got their. They got their fingers right they, up it. They, yeah, they got their fingers right <laughs> up it. <laughs> and Wild yeah. Country is good. It's getting really good. I'm at the point where things are starting to hit the hit the fan. Yeah. Shit's about to hit the fan. So um, I've been enjoying that. And uh, so yeah, that's that's really where I've been up. Uh, this Matthew. guy watching TV and shit. Watching TV. I'm proud of him. Yeah. Fucking Matthew, what have TV. you been watching? Uh, I never really watched TV, you know. Yeah. I have. It's not TV. And, it's and Netflix. I bought. And I bought, I, I watched, I, I told Matt this, that I watched an episode of Columbo. Uh, yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> was it just one episode of Columbo? I thought you were on a fucking Columbo kick. Peter Falk. Well, no, well, well, so I watched one episode, it was on, I was editing uh, something, and it was on TV, I was just so f- <laughs> fucking intrigued by this episode. That guy, Peter and Falk's I, character doesn't give a fuck in those shows. He oh give my God. I like Columbo because he plays like a dumbass. So he's like, he's well, a nobody dumbass gonna believe this everything. fucking it's, idiot. It's like, fuck, I guess, I guess he killed your wife. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so the next week i'm like i want i want more and i'm like i'm like hitting my my <laughs> hand vain. Vain and i was like i want more Columbo, Columbo, main Columbo is not available on netflix or amazon or any fucking streaming service known to mankind it's a mystery so on <laughs> Columbo has its own youtube channel what and yeah Columbo has its own youtube channel and they Wait, have what? about four episodes on there full full episodes and they're just randomly picked and also they do little like uh, cuts of like the best killers, you know, and, and, the, and the best the best stories. The best and combo s- killers. I went through all those fucking episodes like right away, and I'm like, I need more, I need fucking more. And then the other day they did a live stream, and they were just they did a live stream on YouTube of like uh, all the guest stars, and, and it was just like this long ass live stream. And so I ended up going on eBay because I can't find the complete series, and I bought the. I bought the whole fucking series on uh, this guy. DVD. Really Columbo fan. selling Columbo to me. I, I, yeah, I, I, I haven't seen Columbo in a, right a while. Here. I just remember it's, that uh, he would, wouldn't give a fuck. He was just seven like, seasons. <laughs> seven seasons. Shit. And it's, it's got four episodes t- each. I'm sure. Fuck. Oh, it's long. It's no oh, shit. It's long. <laughs> it's broken. He just broke his Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> he just dropped it. He just dropped it. Um, <laughs> let's see if it says anything. And it also has the movies. It has two discs oh, yeah, yeah, of movies, yeah. movies from 89 to 90 and then uh, 90 to 2003. Approximate hours. You ready for this? Oh, oh boy. shit. How long is this shit? 99 hours and 52 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Ooh, I can live boy. the rest of my life watching Columbo. You could. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Cruel. You won't hear from me for a long time. <laughs> Where, when's the last time you've seen Palizzi? Well, <laughs> he started a Columbo marathon. and <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he's back so, in 1989. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to find, and now I got it. So I'm going to be <laughs> jerking off for a long time. <laughs> Peter Falk just stumbled into Columbo. your fucking dinner party. Yes, yeah, so I didn't mean to interrupt. I just want to tell you that uh, you, you killed, killed your wife. wife. <laughs> <laughs> you killed your wife. Huh? I guess I don't know. So after that, do you go to Murder She Wrote? Is that like the progression? Like what's now, after? Now Murder She Wrote's a different animal, Dan. That's a different <laughs> animal. Angela Lansbury. No, I don't. I don't know. Oh, Angela. Oh, I like the a- fact Angela. that my grandma say, "I I gotta watch my story." And say, like, "What story?" Murder like, She Wrote. Man. My stories. That's my story. <laughs> Angela Lansbury is another one, but she would stumble into it not as a dick. She she was like. Angela Lansbury's life must have sucked. She would go on vacation to write her book or whatever, and then murder would gets, follow yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, Columbo would, like, be, you would you, Columbo would just stumble into your shit and like call you out. Like, yeah, yeah, but it, uh, Columbo, you, you, you blew Columbo's, up your wife's house. <laughs> that format, never seen before, really, even before or after, uh, where you you see the murder happen. Right. You see who did it. Right. Right. So you know everything. It's like criminal yeah, intent, law and order, law and order, criminal. Uh, uh, you know, I enough. I don't know. It's it's Definitely. a little bit, you know. They, you know, CSI and all those shows kind of did it, but they kind of hid. They hid the, the killer. killer. The criminal Intent this was the first like, show to, other than that, the Dick Van Dyke. Thing. Look how he kills his fucking wife. <laughs> Dick Van know? Dyke is killing <laughs> Chim Chim and he Chim Chim Charu is killing his fucking wife. Oh, and he's got this fucking majestic fucking beard of too. I'll have he to does. take a screenshot and show it to Dick you. Van Dyke. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a photographer. Yeah, the Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> oh, it's great. Holy oh, Dick like Van Dyke. <laughs> Still alive. Still with us. Of course. Still kicking it. Be, I think he's in the Mary Poppins movie coming out in fucking in a couple of months. He better be. Why the, why the fuck not? Chimney, chim, chim, wheelchair chim, fucking on the fucking rooftops. <laughs> How'd you get up here, Dick Van Dyke? Ah. I'm always up here. Chim Chim Charu, fuck. I swear, I'm Just always waiting. up here with my great British accent, I am. <laughs> 
<laughs> go to bed, Dick. <laughs> Dick, go to bed. Uh, Matthew, <laughs> what have you been watching? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, what did I? I kind of I prefaced this earlier with the uh, I'm starting the Americans. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to start watching. Just ended. It. Well, only a the couple, greatest uh, show nobody sees. Apparently. Yeah, I mean, yeah. a couple. I'm only, I'm only only two episodes in, but I like it. Kara Season Russell one, is huh? a bad huh? fucking bitch. Yo, Kara oh, Russell ain't oh, to be it? fucked with, man. She ain't to be fucked with on that. Show. Not to be. Don't fuck with fucking Felicity, man. Because she Felicity, will. Man, that hair is gone. The She's fucking mission, man. It's all about the fucking mission. <laughs> and, but if the only thing was, it was like on NPR or something like that. And they started talking about the show. <laughs> <laughs> Matt is 73 years old, folks. Fucking 80. What do you want from me? Justin's 80. He's watching Columbo. Matt's listening to NPR. Listen to NPR, motherfucker. (laughs) And um, they started talking about it for like a minute or so. And they didn't give too much away, but they kind of gave a little bit of what the fucking, uh, the two characters are about. But even in just watching the two first episodes, you really understand who these two characters are. Well, uh, a lot happens, so be prepared. Yeah, I I like it, though. I'm I'm, I'm a fan. Um, The first episode was really fun and cool, and uh, it's got that, it's kind of got, has that Breaking Bad type of uh, vibe to it, which I like a lot. So, I like that whole Breaking Bad. It's very Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, where it's like, grid like spy shit yeah but it's not like cool like 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 you know james bondy spy shit's like oh, but fuck. in the 80s <laughs> but, but in, in the, the 80s because that's why justin fucking loves it because it's yeah, in the damn 80s right. oh uh. <laughs> got him half in got him out it's in the 80s justin i'm half in oh, i'm in <laughs> i'm in the I'm dick in. is hard for this show. this was this came out though right before the big boom yeah yeah you know? so it but, wasn't like it, it it's utilizing it for storytelling reasons so yeah. But, uh, that guy on Americans sense. has a TV show with Matthew Good, Ozamandi is called. Uh, they look fucking alike. Yeah, the wine. The two of them look alike. Shit. <laughs> they 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 drink, go around the. Cl- it's like the trip, but they're doing with wine apparently. <laughs> oh, are they it's, funny together? Are they like hello? I, I'm British. Oh, you're British. I'm British. It's like everything is great. Like the trip is great because it's a lot of self loathing. That's yeah. what makes it funny. And these guys, these they, guys are like, I'm living my best. They're, fucking they're gorgeous life right looking now. guys. So it's like, oh, you know, I'm. It, life's grand. I'm drinking wine. Life is so. Look at me drinking my fucking Merlot. <laughs> Fuck you all. Well, see, see, see. It's, it's, Steve Coogan, he's like, you can tell. He's like, you're having fun with him because he's like you. He's just like a regular schlub. These guys are like supermodels walking around. Yeah, my life like, is great. Yeah, I got I a TV yeah, show. It's like Matthew Reese. You look nothing like me. Fuck you. You're a stupid fucking wig and mustache, asshole. Weren't you, uh, did you kill half the planet? Get out of here. Yeah. Boom it. <laughs> you, Get out of here. Before Thanos. Get out of here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's really the only. And Nicole's watching The Crown, but I kind of. Like, Finally. Stopped. Well, I, I, I kind of stopped watching a little bit. Stop. Get back on that shit. It's great. I want to watch the next season because I want to see Helena Bonham Carter be in it. So I want to see what she's going to do. She's not the it. queen. It's the girl well, from. Uh, well, the Rutgers. next season. No, but the next season she's going to be in it. So I'm kind of interested. Oh, she, who is she playing in the next Is she the I th- sister? I think she's Please playing Margaret. She's yeah, sister. she's playing Margaret. Oh, sh- okay. Now. I, okay. So then I'll be back in. Okay, because the sister on the sister who's in Mister Impossible Fallout, by the way, she she's such a she's like my favorite character on the Crown, Margaret. Uh, yeah, you like Margaret. And I know they're ju- they're they're going ahead in time, skipping ahead in time, and they're getting the girl from Broadchurch as the queen now. It's getting rid of Claire Foy. Yeah, I didn't know who's playing the sister. You're telling me it's Helen Bonham Carter. It's, it's supposedly it's Helen Bonham Carter. Triple in because that's that character is such a great character. So yeah. I know I like him. I didn't know she was going to be a Mission Impossible. She doesn't look the same. And she, she has blonde the crown, hair. crown, yeah. yeah. She's yeah. a cha- she's a chameleon. She's a chameleon. Uh, <clears throat> I've been watching. I'm gonna go real fast because. No, oh, you better hurry up. Uh, I saw Killing Eve the first season. Uh, my arc for that show, the for the season is I love this. I, I like this. <laughs> I, I don't understand this. That's the. Oh, that, no. the I mean, Sandra O oh is an MI6 agent who's tracking a, a sociopathic. Assassin, and by the end, at the beginning, I'm like, "This is great! This is uh, great!" And at the end, like the, the the last scene of the first season, I'm like, "What the fuck? What? All right, fuck, fuck it." But apparently, that shows ratings. It's the first show in a while where the ratings kept getting better, 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 better. So it's going to be a season two. So maybe they'll under- explain what the fuck is going on. Uh, Where's this at? Ah, uh, fuck. Um, the hell BBC America. That? BBC America. There you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you would you would be watching another BBC American. <laughs> you had me watch. I, they said BBC MI6. I was like, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm in. I also watched Condor, which is a uh, based on Three Days of the Condor. Uh, it stars uh, Jeremy Irons' son, Max Irons, and it has Brendan Fraser and William Hurt. Uh, I watched this Max show. Max Irons is not a real name. 
That's his name. Sounds like a porn star, but he's not. <laughs> my name is Max Irons. <laughs> my name is Max Irons. Uh, <laughs> I'm Jeremy Irons' son. Uh, this show is uh, Brendan Fraser's in it, and he's kind of playing like a schlubby, evil fucking... It just... Because we were just talking about the mummy earlier. <laughs> they go from Rick O'Connell to the character he's playing on this show. is like, okay. <laughs> I'm into this character. I, I want to see Brendan play this character because <laughs> he's good. He's a good actor. So, yeah, it, it, it's fine. I just don't know how they're going to make multiple seasons of this because they... If you ever seen Three Days of the Condor, it's kind of what Winter Soldier is based on. Uh, I don't know how they're going to continue this. <laughs> it, it just goes to a point. The first episode ends where the first act of the movie... Uh, ended, <laughs> so I don't know. How, they're gonna run out of story, I think. But uh, whatever. Um, I'm glad that uh, Brandon Fraser's back. Yeah, he's back. He's doing good. And All I right, saw Succession on HBO. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's doing good, huh? He's doing okay, that guy. He's doing alright. He, he's alive. Uh, I saw Succession <laughs> on HBO uh, with uh, Brian Cox and uh, the guy who should be playing Titus Welliver's son. I forget his name. He was in the Big Short. Uh, it's produced by and directed by Adam McKay. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a drama, but it it's kind of it not like a screwball comedy. It's like a, I, at first I'm like, because there's parts of it where there's a I thought it was gonna be Wall Street, but then there's a scene where a guy wearing a mascot outfit throws up out of his eye holes. So it's like, is this a comedy? Is it a drama? The show is worth the price of admission for Kieran Culkin alone. He is the best fucking character, at least in the first fucking episode, because he ultimately does not give. A, imagine if like. Matthew Stewart had a TV show, <laughs> or Justin had a TV, give show. Me a TV show. <laughs> it's just that, that he doesn't give a fuck. He just calls everybody on their bullshit. He doesn't care. He he curses in front of the children. He doesn't give a fuck. And he's great. He's the greatest. He's the, the only problem is he's not the main character. He's kind of just in the backgrounds of scenes. But it has mm-hmm. um, it has Cameron from Ferris Bueller, Alan Ruck, I believe his name is, and it has Brian Cox, who's at some points playing dramatic Brian Cox, and then these. Sometimes playing Super Troopers, Brian Cox. So it's like, what's going on here? Uh, but it, it's okay. It's all right. It's God, I don't know. I gotta watch. I think a second episode comes on today it's on HBO. I I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know where this show is going to go. At first, I thought it was gonna be like Justin's show, Billions, because you know, Billions is this Damian Lewis. Stop watching that. You stop watching Billions. What happened? Yeah. Why? What, what happened? happened? I, I just I don't know. What happened? Got wrapped up into dice. I finished dice up. Oh, and, you're uh, <laughs> just number one. Back. Yeah, Andrew Dice Clay rubbed off on you. They fuck billions. <laughs> fuck them. Oh, <laughs> but I'm happy to hear uh, our boys doing good. Damien, I don't know. <laughs> Damien Lewis, the mummy. Who, oh, the the mummy oh, Brendan Fraser. Oh, you just came up with the guy from the mummy. <laughs> it, well, first off, the show is on audience, so I don't know if he's doing that great. <laughs> I didn't well, even know there's a, sh- a channel start. called it, Audience. You got to start somewhere. I mean, you know. <laughs> I was like, what channel is this? Audience? What the fuck? <laughs> is audience that? or like audacity? Like, uh, I, I don't know. It could be whatever you're about to say, audience. and I will believe you. <laughs> I, I was going to say audacity, but that was wrong. Um, no, that's what we're recording the show on right now. Uh, ovation. Is <laughs> ovation. it Ovation? I think it starts with an A. I'm pretty sure it's Audience, okay. which well, is a channel know. nobody's ever heard of. Well, good for him. Good good hey. job, Rick O'Connell. <laughs> Rick! Uh, we're going to take a little break, and then we're going to play a brand new game. In a world where podcasts already seem to address every imaginable subject, one man broke new ground with a seemingly random obsession about exploding helicopters in movies. He was a podcaster on the edge, a maverick broadcaster who played by his own rules. Now, he has a last chance to talk about the strange way helicopters explode in film. Exploding Helicopter, available on iTunes and Podomatic now. Think you know about chopper fireballs? Think again. Time for a segment that'll make you wish that commercial break was a whole lot longer. It's Simplistic Titles. Simplistic titles. This is the game where I read each player the name of an oddly titled film and they have to determine whether the film is real or something totally fake that I made up out of my own fucking head. Before they make their guess, they can ask me two questions about the film, which I will answer that may help them make their choice. First person, the three right guesses, wins the game. Uh, Dan, you get to go first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have a whole list of films that are fake and real. And I'm, I, I'm going to read them to you now. You have to guess if it's fake or real. Are you ready? As ready as I will be, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> the name of the movie is called Young People Fucking. What's the tagline? 
The tagline is, coming together has never been so complicated. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, Man, I, maybe good, I am. That's, that's maybe that's, that's I'm good, not. Uh, that's a good tagline. A, I, will, a, I will repeat uh, the question. Man. I will repeat the name of the movie, and I will repeat the tagline that Dan has asked me. Young people fucking a 2007 comedy tagline. Coming together. I'm not going to tell you how they spoke coming. <laughs> has never been so complicated. Do it. Uh, who stars in it? Uh, it stars Alan Abrams and Carly Pope, people you don't know. <laughs> bad, bad second question, my friend. <laughs> Real or fake? <laughs> by movie, just, just to clarify, by movie, is this like something that he did a go to a possible film. A feature-length film, yes. It, 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 it might not have been in the theater long, but it is a feature-length film, yes. It it's not to like a fucking student project. I'm guessing that I want to go with it, it's real. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. And you are absolutely correct. 2007 <laughs> film directed by Martin Giro, YPF, a.k.a. Young People Fucking. Yeah. Oh, oh, they called it YPF? That was they called it Young People Fucking, and then oh. for America, they dropped it to Young YPF. Where, where, because... where did this film originate? Oh, America. The premise, on a Tuesday night, five couples uh, have separate Start sexual fucking. adventures. <laughs> Apparently. It's not really much to this movie, actually. Fucks. <laughs> I've seen this movie, and it's essentially like, uh, okay. I guess this is kind of like, uh, she, she's just not that into you if there was more sex in it. No. <laughs> okay. Like the overnight. Did they use a condom on the poster? No, absolutely. Wait, did they? I've only seen the movie. I've not seen I the think poster. I've seen the poster. You've seen yeah. the poster, huh? Yeah, I think it has a condom. <laughs> of course. Because they, they can't say fuck. And yeah, the they got to imply what YPF means without saying <laughs> <laughs> fucking. <laughs> All right, uh, Justin, you're next. Are you ready? Oh, great. <laughs> no. Okay, go ahead. Let's get this over with. Get this over with. All right, all right. Here we go. Surfer Dude. <laughs> A 2008 okay. comedy. You can ask me two questions. Go ahead. Uh, tagline? Love and Waves. That's what we need in these dark days. It's so hard to read. What these. was the tag that again? Go, okay, I'll, I'll do it again. Okay, Surfer Dude, the 2008 comedy. Justin asked for the tagline. The tagline is "Love and Waves." That's what we need in these dark days. So, "Love and Waves" it didn't even rhyme. I feel like it, I feel like it's so bad that it's it's got to be real. You want to ask a second question? <laughs> Just to uh, who's the star? It stars Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. All right, yeah, that's real. That's, <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Directed by S.R. Binder. Premise, a wave-twisting huh? tale of a soul-searching surfer experiencing an existential crisis. <laughs> Have you seen it? Hell, fuck no. It's, no. It needs to be on the list, a, though. What I saw it. was like, this for? can't be real. This has to be like a, like a, it's like a it's an SNL skit, but it's a real fucking movie. <laughs> Surfer dude, the first person that comes to mind who would be in it would be Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of the thing right there. Yeah. All right, uh, here we go. Matthew, this is a are you sequel ready? to Ed TV. <laughs> it's never, it's no more Ed TV talk. Here we go. <laughs> Matthew. Yeah. <clears throat> Warts. 1977 Wart? horror. Warts? Warts. Like warts on your skin. Warts. Uh. <laughs> 1977 horror. You have two questions to ask me. All right, well, well, we have to go for the tagline. Terror is only skin deep. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, one Warts. More this doesn't have the same fun as the other two, <laughs> warts. unfortunately. Would you Shuttle like the warts. the star, the director? Young people Which fucking, one? warts. <laughs> That's the sequel to Young, Young people, people fucking. fucking Shuttle warts. warts. <laughs> What was the, uh, oh, how about this one? What was the total box office gross? No, no, I told you. No, no that's Directed, a question. Star I said you can ask the Director, of question. starring, starring premise, premise tagline. tagline. Fine, <laughs> give, give me the fucking premise of this shit. A viral epidemic spreads across a small Midwestern town, transforming the victims into disfigured homicidal freaks. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the greatest fucking reaction to him. Nah, you know. No. <laughs> uh, no, this isn't this isn't a thing that exists. No. Are you, I'm, is this your I'm final saying answer? no. No. <laughs> no, Jerry, no. no. You're right. It's completely I, made up out of my I'm own fucking, fucking right. Head. Fuck. You didn't even have a fucking box office gross for me. <laughs> because that's not a fucking Bullshit. game. You gotta do some research, I told you. 
Wait, 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 let, me, let me look at Wart. Oh, I can't look at Wart since it's not real. It's not real. All right, I made it up. All right, here we go. Everybody has one. Very, thing. very good, DJ. Man, uh, you're, you're you're good at this game, DJ. I know, I'm pretty good. It's very creative. <laughs> <laughs> so creative, yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Dan, are you ready? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's done. He's done. Shit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Stupid bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, talking I'm sorry, that, I'm just used to being called that. I'm, not I'm talking directly at you. <laughs> a 1984 British comedy called Stupid Bastard. Who's in it? It stars Michael Winterbottom and David Twellis and Kieran Hines. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a star studded cast. Yeah. Mm, 1984. And what's so this the premise? Is young. The premise? A low-level gangster takes it upon himself to con his boss out of a suitcase full of cash and get out of London alive. Man. He's got, got some good, good actors in this film. Yeah. <laughs> David Twillis and Kieran, Kieran Hines? Kieran Hines. This, but this is 84 Kieran Hines and 84 Ooh. David Twillis. So this is like young. Ooh, Kieran, young Kieran was still kind of hands in them. Fresh. Uh, fresh. Fresh, uh, fresh and supple. Uh, uh, I'm going to go fresh. with... No, I feel like no. I'm gonna go. It's fake. I'm just throwing it out there. Final answer. Final answer. He is correct. It is completely <laughs> fucking made up. Oh. You, made it. you want, I want that to movie to be film, real? Though. You want to see that, don't you? I want to see that shit. <laughs> Dan has two points. All right, here we go. Uh, Justin, you ready? Yes. Yes, I am. Here's the problem with Hitler. 2002 <laughs> mockumentary. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, say the, I'll say the title one more time in case you didn't hear me. <clears throat> no, I heard you. Here's the problem with Hitler 2002 <laughs> mockumentary. Of course, a mockumentary. I feel like I've seen, I've seen this like in Netflix or something. Mm -hmm. Would you but like to ask me a I question? I think it was like Hitler's back or something. Um, <laughs> Never <laughs> tag line. The tagline is. <laughs> oh god <laughs> there are no wrong turns down memory lane only Reich ones oh my god are you kidding me uh, who directed this <laughs> is that your, that's your final question <laughs> oh oh too I thought it was there okay. um, you want the called, premise you want here's the, the problem with Hitler it's called Here's the problem with Hitler. <laughs> What's the deal with Hitler? <laughs> Should have been that. Here's the problem with Hitler. <laughs> Do you want to huh. hear the tagline one more time? Because yeah, I don't believe I read it. That was... <laughs> there are no wrong turns down memory lane. Only Reich ones. Reich ones, right. folks. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. To not beat a good idea into the ground. <laughs> I mean, I want this to be true because I want to watch this. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt is so angry right I now. I do too. I, I, Justin, Justin coming to the house. This is the Jewish thing? Uh, it's yeah. a Jewish thing. Yeah, because that's Jewish thing. Definitely, definitely the Jewish thing. thing. This is a, co I, this is a I, kosher I, thing. It's kosher. It's kosher. It's kosher. Um, I don't... You still have one I more don't question. Think it's real. You still have, have one, one more. more question. You have one more question if you want. If you want, you can oh, hold on to it. Oh, I thought I thought I, I yeah because I thought I said who's it directing? I said, I said that's that's this will, this will be your last question. Oh oh yeah, yeah. who's 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 directing it? His name is John Bimbley. That's gotta be fake. Fake. It's my final answer. <laughs> it is fake. <laughs> oh, okay. It, it sounded, sounded so real. real. It sounded so real. <laughs> It sounded mm. surreal. It, it sounded surreal. a little weird that it was problem. I'm like, there should be an S. I'm just <laughs> like, why? <laughs> What's Here's the, the pro problem? <laughs> There's singular. only one problem with Hitler. There's only, only one. one. Here it is. Only have one issue. <laughs> I yeah, think it's plural with that. I, think I could see it being real, though. It could be. That's why I made it up. Uh, yeah. Matt, everybody has, everybody's gotten it right so far. I haven't fooled wow. anybody. Oh, man, all the pressure on me here now. Okay, Matt, don't be that guy. <sighs> don't here be Hitler. Go. I'm kind of disappointed that yeah. I can't go watch that. <laughs> <laughs> to make your own documentary. Advice. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes. Dickhead's the movie. 
<laughs> the simplistic review store. <laughs> 2011. Dickheads the movie. Dickheads the movie. Is, is there a genre to this or anything? Is this 2011? Uh, <laughs> the genre is, is it's like every genre. I see crime. I see comedy. I see, uh, it's a crime comedy. Okay, perfect. <laughs> a British crime comedy starring. Not Kieran British. Heinzel. I don't see British anywhere. No, it's just crime this. comedy, huh? These are all from IMDb, folks. If you want to double check. Oh, or. Okay, <laughs> double check our work. Except for Hitler. Yeah, yeah, Hitler. Hitler's Hitler on IMDb. <laughs> Hitler on parade. That's the problem with Hitler. What's the problem with Hitler? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, who, you have two questions. That genre right. is not a question. Okay. Obviously. Uh, who? What's the the synopsis? Three brothers drag along some friends for stupidity and dangerous stunts. Dickheads, the movie. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, who? who? <laughs> 2011. <laughs> who started? Who started this? Uh, this uh, financial. Uh, uh, a juggernaut, apparently. <laughs> no, nobody famous. Luke Apps and Ben Spring. I have never heard of these two people. <laughs> Luke Apps and Ben Spring? Yeah. Ben Spring. I feel like this has to be a real thing. Because it's too good to not to be true. <laughs> Should we watch it? <laughs> I mean, to see if it's real or not. <laughs> is this real? I'm thinking it is. You think it's real? I think I think this is an actual thing that exists in the world. You're right. <laughs> I of course I'm oh. right. I know how to play this fucking game. <laughs> okay. Uh, what did, did you watch the trailer, DJ? I I did not watch the trailer. Oh. I just saw. I was just typing in ridiculous titles of movies, and one of them came up was "Dickheads the Movie," and I was like, "Dickheads, check, the movie. <laughs> check." All right. Because oh, I'm every, intrigued. Because everybody's at two points. Because we're good at this game. We're gonna do the last one or the next one. It's gonna be a buzzing, okay? Oh you gotta no! Gotta say your name. You gotta say your name. All right. Do we, do we get like a when we buzz in? Do we get a? Uh, if you get it wrong, then we just do another buzz, right? Oh. If you get it wrong, you should though. <laughs> <laughs> if you get it wrong, then I'm guessing then you go to a different one because otherwise we go, we go, <laughs> I go to a different one. Don't, don't worry, I've got many of these. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I'm not running out it's of material 50, 50 anytime shot. soon. <laughs> Are we ready? Uh, yeah. Bella Lugosi meets a Brooklyn gorilla. Dan. Dan. Real? Do you want to ask any questions? Oh, do I get to ask no, questions? No, we didn't say that was a thing. You can always ask questions. Oh, what? No, this needs to be lightning round. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we just had to go with it. Sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> What's the tagline? The tagline is... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have just done this. <laughs> All right. Um, Brooklyn chumps become island monkeys in a jungle full of laughs. Laughs spelled with two Fs. That's the tagline? That is the tagline. <laughs> wow. I thought it was synopsis. <laughs> uh, I'll go, I'm, I'm still going to go real. Just why not? I want it to be. And Dan is the winner. Bella Lugosi oh, of is the Brooklyn Gorilla. Is a the Brooklyn. Who played the Brooklyn Gorilla? Uh, apparently, Bella Lugosi. Well, who played no. Bella Lugosi? Uh, some guy named Duke Mitchell. Oh, <laughs> what? Or might be backwards. No I'm, I'm not sure if that's right or not. I can't. Hey, right. how you doing? I'm Bella Lugosi. I'm Bella Lugosi. <laughs> it's like ah, I'm the Brooklyn Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. This has been Simplistic Titles. And I bet you thought the name of our show was ridiculous. I'm still trying to find that Hitler movie, and it's probably going to look bad that I keep searching Hitler on my Google search. It's not search. there. I made it up You're then. on a list now, Clark. <laughs> You're now on a list. <laughs> Here's the... He didn't use problems. He only with problem. <laughs> Top search for Hitler films. <laughs> not what's the problem with Hitler. <laughs> Okay, Dan, before we get out of here, you want to uh, <laughs> plug your shows uh, in, in concurrently? Sure, uh, yeah. You can check everything I do, Comic Con Cheers, geekcastradio.com or nerdly.co.uk. Uh, Matthew, you want to get UK? Yeah. UK. He's, he's Go international, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> we ran out of, we ran out of uh, things, so it's .uk now. Uh, <laughs> 
All right, so um, oh yeah, we talk about our stuff now. You go ahead. I thought Dan, I thought Dan was gonna have more to say. But, I uh, talked about it in the front, so I don't want to bore people. I mean, it's, it's all there. He's, yeah. uh, he's boring concise. people. Who's don't worry, they were bored the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's bored. <laughs> we're, Everybody's we're all now bored because of you. <laughs> May God have mercy on your soul. Uh, okay. Well, uh, little, little Billy Madison night. Little Billy yeah. Madison. And I just realized I was watching Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure the other day, and mm, Billy excellent. Madison cribs the fucking thing that that guy says in um, Bill and Ted's Excellent. He's like, nib high, school, nib high School Football Rules. But the guy in uh, Bill and Ted says, San Dimas High School fo- School Football Rules. I thought O'Doyle that's, Rules, isn't that? That's, well, O'Doyle Rules, too. That's the best one. That's the best one. Fuck O'Doyle. Huh. <laughs> I have your feeling your whole family's going down. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, my dick. Oh. <laughs> okay, Matt. Focus. All right, dice. Okay, yeah. Um, well, <laughs> if, you, if you enjoyed this, if you made it through, and hey, thanks for the people that called in and, you know, added to the, uh, you know, added to the show. That was Thanks, Mike and Freddie. Uh, you guys. Uh, checks in the mail, by the way. $5. But, um, $5. yeah, simplicityreviews.net. Go to the Wayne website Find all the funny right there. You could just, I mean, should I go any further than that? Just go to the website. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I, I kid, fuck. I kid. There's other <laughs> stuff. I'm not going to be lazy about it. You know, we've, we've been away for a while. We haven't done a show in a while. So that's true. Gotta, gotta go, gotta go big, you know, so go big or yeah. go home. Yeah. So simply reviews.net, go to the main website, but then go to Twitter, go to Twitter. You can go to, uh, check us out on simple tweeters or trying to D de- trying to be DJV or even go to cheese it man if you want on Twitter and you can talk to one, one of the three of us I guess Don't uh, talk Facebook to me. Uh, check simplistic reviews or, or uh, next time we're doing a commentary or podcast go to simplistic reviews and you can call in or interact with us and do all that fun stuff or uh, go to simply gramming on Instagram or uh, you know leave us a email at contact at simplicityreviews.net or download the podcast at iTunes or Stitcher or tune in radio and go to Twitch and you can go to uh, okay. watch us do video far. games and stuff and why not give, give us money on Patreon too while you're at it even though we don't really have our Patreon page set up but it's fine send me money <laughs> is this turned into you chilling I will give you my address right now <laughs> Do not do not do that. Which I do will not, not do that. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but all the good stuff, you know, on simplisticreviews.net. It all comes back to that. Of well, for uh, Dan Clark and Freddie Moss and big old Mike Blanchard uh, and Bella Lugosi and and the Brooklyn Gorilla <laughs> and Columbo and yeah. uh, Hitler problems. I'm Parker Posey saying my dog is a vampire. <laughs> It's a My giant dog fucking is vampire. A vampire. Dog is a vampire. Come on, you telling me you wouldn't fucking go watch warts, Matt? That I made that especially for you. You gave me warts. I gave you warts. I, I you. specially made warts. For I knew there you. was something special about you and I. <laughs> it's our sharing of warts. <laughs> we're, the, we're the wart boys. <laughs> it's the wart brothers. <laughs> <laughs> the brothers. The brothers. The brothers. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. That's a, that, that's a great that, 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 Now that's chaos there. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny little variations of uh, sliding down the Mario a, Brothers uh, and the flag uh, and, a a flag pole, and, the... <laughs> and then going to fuck around with a giant turtle who spits fire at you. <laughs> it keeps now kidnapping that's chaos princesses. And apparently it's cute. We don't know why that kidnapping is cute, but whatever. <laughs> giant turtles. <laughs> if I brought Jack. giant turtles back, you would not have been given to me that, would you? <laughs> don't you dare do you. Now, 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 now you're John Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to another episode of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. Everyone says their show has the best fans in the world, but the Simplistic Reviews Podcast fan base is literally the very best there is. So, from the bottom of our heart, thanks so much for listening, Kevin. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. Quality not quantity, I guess. <laughs>